Live from the studios of KYMB Television in Monterey, California, it's Monterey On Tonight with Gary and Jules. Four hours of your favorite classic music videos from yesterday and today. Telephone and in-studio guests and a few surprises along the way. And now, here are your hosts, Gary and Jules. Our sponsors in tonight, the first hour, as it is every week, is brought to you by me and Ed's at the corner of Broadway and Fremont, right in Seaside, California. And they have a wonderful special going on right now. Large, three topping, any toppings. Pizza. For $10. Can you beat that? Delivery or you can eat it there. But I think it's fun to eat it there, don't you? It it's is like fun. Well, you know why it's fun? Because they've got the jute box, they've got fireplace. the fireplace. And you're going to need a fireplace with the weather. Yeah, we've got a little storm coming in. I wanted to say I'm so excited about the video that Gary, Gary always picks. This is, what, our seventh show? That yeah, we've done? Something like that, We're at yeah. show seven, and Gary always picks the first video of the night. Well, this video that he's picked, he's picked once before, but there's a little story behind the video, and that's why we're going to replay that. Now, video. are we going to do, what video are we going to do first? Right here. We're going to do, well, now, we haven't played her before. Oh, you're right. We haven't played right. her before. This is actually a but you first. But you did, right. This is a first. You played the one that she... Well, let's the, I played get, the one that you she know, Let's bring the viewers into the story. Well, I played <laughs> the video about two or three weeks ago right. by Robert Palmer, and it's called... Uh, uh, what is it called? Addicted, Addicted to, to, to Love. Love. Okay, I almost forgot. <laughs> well, he's got two songs. Well, there's two of them from the, that era, and um, Robert pa Palmer did Addicted to Love, but there is someone that copied that whole video, did a kind of a play on, on that video, and that is Shania Twain. So we dug into the Cool Music Library. They provide us with all the videos here each week, and we found Shania's video. Right. And so we're going to kick off tonight's show with Shania and, and, and then, Shania Twain. And this was 1997, 97. and it was filmed in New York City. But then after we play it, we're going to play the video that she was uh, copying. copying and spoofing. It spoofing. Was, a spoofing. was it a spoof? Which, well, it says here. What's it, it say? Was a, the video is a role-reversed version of Robert Palmer's Addicted to Love. So anyway. And maybe the, the folks out there in TV land can email us and let us know which video of the two. You like the, like the best. <laughs> yeah, our, okay. our website is... Uh, KYMBTV.com. Dave, if you can put that on the screen. And uh, anybody that wants to email us tonight during the next four hours. Let us know you're watching. Yeah. Let us know how you like what we're playing. And when you email us, you automatically are entered into our giveaway tonight. Right. So, and that we will announce what the giveaway and, is. And we soon. do that just before we go off the air each Saturday night. Okay. Let's get going, all right? Okay. Here she is, Shania Twain. And there she is, that Shania Twain. That's such a great video. That I is. really like that song. And that's a... She's pretty, too. She sure and is. And she's sweet. We've seen her interviews. We have. We and, have. And she's she is... Uh, where is she now? Is she still performing? You know, I haven't heard much yeah, about her lately. Yeah, things kind of got quiet. Um, when she had her personal... Personal issues. Yeah. But yeah. she's she's just... You Sweet. don't want to go into that, right? There's so much of it in the news. <laughs> That's not what we're here. We'll let CNN do that. <laughs> All right, so here we go now. We're going to jump right into the Robert Palmer video from 1986. This is what Shania was spoofing. And um, when we come back, we'll talk about Robert Palmer. So here it is, Addicted to Love. Robert Palmer and Addicted to Love. And don't forget now, go to uh, your email and uh, let us know. Did you like Shania? Or did you like uh, Robert Actually, Palmer? it's our website. Where did I say? Your to email. email. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You know why you do that? Is why? because it, the website forwards it to my email. That's what it That's is. That's why you're good. Go it, to the website. It automatically it's on the goes to our email. It does. KYMBTV.com. We have a feedback form, and we would love to hear from you. Okay. Anyway, let us know. And, uh, you know, sadly, I don't know whether you folks know that Robert Palmer passed away, actually of a heart attack at the age of 54, uh, in nineteen or um, in two thousand three, yeah, very sad. And that very video sad. was from eighty six. Right? Nineteen eighty six. His first one. He spent to the it. last fifteen years of his life in Paris, France. What a place, huh? Yeah. And then he followed up that video with uh, "Simply Irresistible," which was very similar. In, and that was about three years after. I think it, it was eighty nine. So. Anyway, it's time to get a hold of Akram over at uh, Me and Ed's at the corner of Broadway and Fremont. 
Akram, are you there? I am here. How are you guys doing tonight? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Beautiful, How's... beautiful, beautiful night. It's kind of tired, but I'm okay. Well, good. And you know what? We understand you're going to make a television appearance here in our studio next week. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't wait till I see you guys and uh, hang out with you and talk and, you know, just every... Um, it would be a beautiful night. We'll, well they're all going to be lined up, Akram, in front of the studio to get your autograph. I want you to know Absolutely. that. <laughs> and, you know, we, uh, we brought the video camera over to our Wednesday night uh, little get-together. Yes, last that week. was a great night. It was absolutely awesome. We love it, and uh, I believe that uh, I'm going to try to make it a tradition. We make it like every Wednesday, a happy night for all our friends and uh, people in the seaside and Monterey area, they come by and get their pizza and beer, and we'll do that as something uh, that will be like uh, on every Wednesday. With the Wacky Wednesday we special we have, with the $10 pizza we have, with all the beautiful special we have every day available here, and uh, we're going to have a great night and get the, um, the room full of people like we did last Wednesday. Great. It was a beautiful night, and uh, it was packed. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Well, we, we you, you, you had a baby shower, right? Yes, yeah. we have a baby shower. We had the fire department the fire were in department. the back having a, a beautiful night, and we had another uh, big uh, uh, party in the back for a, um, a group of people. It was, uh, was just packed, which was great. It was a night that, that would not be forgotten. So, Akram, the moral of the story is that you can have a lot going on all at the same time, because we had about 40 people in our group. So yeah, you can you can have a couple of hundred people in there, right? I mean, that well, we, we, we is try a, to make it we try to make it as 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 beautiful for everybody as it can be. Uh, we get uh, we get you know today was uh, a very 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 busy afternoon. It was great. We had uh, two big birthday parties in at the same time. One was in the back room, was in the front, and uh, had the music going, and, uh, and everybody was in a very, very happy mood. It's kind of windy today, so a lot of people came in and uh, you know watched the game on, uh, on on television and listened to music and wind down with the pizza and beer and soda and all the good stuff. Well, if folks haven't tried me and Ed's, you've got to do it. Go in and ask for Akram. He'll give you the greatest large $10 pizza with three toppings. Uh, Broadway and Fremont and Seaside, uh, the greatest pizza in, on the Monterey Peninsula, in my opinion. Can I order? You can order. Can we order, Akram? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What would you like tonight? Okay. Well, Gary likes the mushroom and pepperoni and extra cheese Absolutely. on his half. Yes. Okay. And on all of our ha other halves, we want pepperoni and olive. You got it. Thank you. Okay, and you're going to send Gwen over with the pizza? You got it. She'll All be right, there thanks, at, uh, Akram. Nine. And we'll see you next week. You got it. I'll okay. be there for sure. Thank okay. you, guys. Thanks. Have a wonderful night. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. All right. That's, uh, that's Akram Wait, let's over play the Venus. video. What video do you want to play? The one Dave, the one you shot and Dave's oh, got okay. it on the computer. This is Have, the video yeah, of it. all of our friends. And uh, viewers, we had viewers. We had some viewers. We had um, we had a chef from Los Angeles. Ron Harrison brought a chef from Los Angeles. Uh, Mario Marcolo Martinoli. Martinoli. He's been he's on famous chef on Channel Two K CBS in Los Angeles. He's got a radio show. Yeah. He was there. He surprised us. He did. Which was kind of special. Can you roll uh, that uh, video, Dave? Okay, we'll roll it. Let's uh, let's do a little. Uh, we'll talk over it. Uh, actually, actually, no, there's audio. There's audio. Yeah, uh, let it go. Let okay. the audio. Go. Okay, we're here at me and Ed's, and tell us what's going on, Jules. We are here for our KY and D monthly get together, and we're at me and Ed's on the corner of Broadway and Fremont. Thank you, Akram, who is our Monterey on Tonight show sponsor. You're too close, honey. <laughs> we're gonna go inside, and we're gonna have our drawing. Everybody wave. Sheila Gale, there's Sheila. Hi. Hi. Okay, we're gonna have our drawing. Okay, here's the drawing. Who's gonna draw? Sarah. Sarah. And 
and uh, that's when we had our drawing, and uh, you gave away like three different oh, we had, prizes. Well, we had Ben Castillo, who's actually a guest later on our show tonight, yeah. from Lighthouse Cinemas, and he um, donated tickets, and we had like six tickets to give away. We had the Mirror Maze, Todd Stone, who's the general manager of the Mirror Maze on Cannery Row, donated tickets, and then we had a bottle of wine. Wow. And then we had, there I was some other. I remember all of that. You don't <laughs> you I was too busy with, uh, being a cameraman. <laughs> I think you and were. Talking, yeah, I that And talking to everybody. <laughs> so anyway, we had some great prizes. We did. And we're going to do this every month. So uh, when we're at Ola in uh, the barnyard next month, come on by. Well, the date is the still. camera, we'll put you on TV. Uh, to be announced. The date, date to be announced. The date. Some, I'm still waiting to talk sometime, to Bernie to settle. Sometime settle in May, though. Yeah, because I want to. On a Wednesday night? Or well, actually, Tuesday I'm going to talk to Bernadette because I want to pick a night where we can actually get a really good special with the okay. TV station. And we'll be announcing that right, right. here on uh, Monterey on Tonight. But do you know what? Me and Ed's, uh, their Wacky Wednesdays are great because they have a, a special every night of the week. But on Wednesdays, you can pick any any of those specials. So you can get the $10 special, or if you've got a large group, you can do, maybe it's a, there's a Monday special that would be great, but you're there on Wacky Wednesday, so you can have it. So anyway. Do you see what we do for our sponsors? Can yeah. you believe that? Yep. We really do get behind them. And if you'd like to be a sponsor of this show, let us know. Yep. And we'll We'd actually, Gary, actually, we do have two to visit. We do? We had two emails, and we were supposed to last week, but you got in conference calls. So uh, was our busy. trip, it's good our trip to Fresno is delayed because of the rain, because Monday we're going to be going okay. to visit them. Great. We have uh, a couple of uh, people new that we've New sponsors. Attend. I love new sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the music. If you just happen to tune in, we're here every Saturday night from 8 o'clock to midnight. This is called Monterey on Tonight. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. And uh, we love playing music videos from the uh, classic years, the 80s. So we did deviate a little tonight with the Shania. And in a couple of months, we may deviate some more. We're yeah, going to go through right. the 80s and then we'll... Maybe the 90s. Or the uh, 50s. But no hip-hop. Or the 50s. Or no the 60s. Hip -hop. No hip hop. Well, there's fans out there, there that like it, but you know what? We play music we listen to, right? Yeah, that's right. Because it's we, your show and That's show. right. We, we play music we like. <laughs> and if you're a hip hop fan, well, I'll tell you what. I'll send you the DVD. Actually, there's um, a channel that we may be turning into a 24-hour music channel, and We're that's where we can that. put a lot of a variety yeah. in there. So anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay, what's next? Uh, next is uh, Saga, and this is uh, called On the Loose. Uh, from I don't know too much about that one. Did you do yes, a little research on that I one? Yes, I did. I always do my little research. Did you do research. your research? I do. From 1981, and then okay. after that is the outfield Your Love, which is uh, from um, doesn't say actually didn't say. Okay. 1986. 1986. There we go. And then right after those two videos, we'll have our first guest of the night, Richard with a Burns. very special story. Hey, so you gotta stay us. tuned and listen to the story this man. Has in, in fact, uh, he's written a book, and we're going to tell you all about that. He's going to be over at Borders tomorrow, so you David can go. Have, it's upside you don't have, down, babe. Yeah, you don't have to zoom. That's you know, okay. Don't worry about but it. Anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll get a close up when we come back. Okay. Anyway, uh, here's the music. Here's Saga. See you in a few minutes. And uh, that was the outfield, and uh, that was called Your Love uh, from the '80s. I would suspect. That is. And, 86. Uh, 86. 86. You're watching Monterey on Monterey on tonight. <laughs> Monterey didn't come out very good that time. Did <laughs> this is our TV show. We're here every Saturday night from 8 to and midnight. And I have something very special and to read. You have something. Jules has something to read about our next guest. Go right ahead. Richard Dick Burns, 38, television and advertising executive who dressed grown men as fruit for an underwear commercial, had an airplane paint smiles on their planes and brought those same smiles to millions of children around the world, died suddenly the day after Christmas. He is survived by his wife Nancy and three children, Lisa, Shelley, and Richard. This was written December 26th, 1968, and I have somebody very special to introduce. He's sitting right here next to us the, all these years later. The obituary didn't not, happen. Did didn't not work. Happen. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. What a story. Welcome. Glad Thank you. Well, welcome, Thank you. Dick. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, your book, Live or Die, A Stroke of Good Luck is the name of your book. And um, it is the story of what happened to you. Uh, this is right, but it's not just the story of what happened to me. Uh, it's a story of how, if it happens to anybody else, any serious illness. What do you do? Yeah. 
That's what it's all about. Well, it must have been pretty severe if they, wrote, if they wrote your obituary. It was severe. I was dead. Really? 38 years old. My goodness. And here you are. And do you want to tell the audience your age now? Uh, I will be 80 in four months. Well, bless your heart. Wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, go right ahead. We've that got is... our, our studio audience applauding that. Wonderful. Well, tell us how you did it. What happened? Well, I woke up in the first, uh, I had some eye surgery, and it triggered something. Uh, I went upstairs that day after Christmas, and I was dead. Uh, I went to the hospital. Uh, I can tell you all about it, but the next morning I was alive. I couldn't walk for two, the, two, two, three years. I couldn't talk for two, three years. And and one of the things I read, I read your book, and I, I really Juliana did. She was just a spellbound. Two nights. Two I nights. read it in two nights. I, I was just amazed. Thank you. And uh, one of the things that was uh, amazed me is that, thirty-eight years old, you're at the, the height of your career, in your profession, and I, I really was imagining a scene in your book where you're in the Oak Room, which is in Manhattan, with all of the ex the executives, mm -hmm. the executive uh, advertising departments, and you're there brainstorming on how to solve a big problem in marketing cotton underwear for men. <laughs> and I and we all know what that turned out to be is the Fruit of the Loom commercials, because I grew up watching all of these men dressed in all of these fruits. And, and that's that, that scene is in the book, and I was just really, you know, just trying to imagine myself, you know, at the height of your career at 38 years old and you're just on top of the world and then something so suddenly unexpected happens to you. That's right. And changes the entire course of your life and how you managed to, to, uh, to deal with that and what you did with that change of your life. How you overcame. How you, you overcame. You can give up and just lie back and say, forget it. Right. Or you can do what I did. Uh, and quite frankly, in the beginning, I didn't know what was happening. I really didn't. Uh, uh, the mind didn't work, and I certainly couldn't, as, as that chapter says, uh, I opened my mouth to talk and nothing came out but guttural sounds. But you're thinking. You were thinking. You were still that. thinking, but you just well, couldn't Well, thinking of, in a way. In a way. The brain was destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, uh, I could not, whatever was going on, I could not mouth it. Now things got better. It, hey, that was 42 years ago. My goodness. It took time. My goodness. So do you have any advice for anyone out there that happens to be watching our program tonight on um, how to prevent a stroke? Well, number one, how to prevent it. You read it in the papers. You read it in the magazines how to diagnose it, how to diet, how to exercise. Uh, the important thing is every 45 seconds, somebody is hit with a stroke in this country. Goodness. Didn't realize Of all that. ages. Of all ages. Every of all 38. Ages. I was 38. 38. Which uh, is a young age to have a stroke. Too young. Too young. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but uh, obviously it was the advertising business that brought it on. I mean, this is a strain. You know that yeah, as well as yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, uh, not for us. <laughs> oh, you're having fun? <laughs> We're having fun. We're having fun. fun. No good, strokes good, good, here. <laughs> but, you know, one of the things, too, that the um, it, it was in addition to the challenges of this health crisis, looking at the dynamics of your, of your, your job, mm -hmm. the, the contracts were lost, mm -hmm. um, health insurance disappeared mm -hmm. and your ability to work disappeared and your wife was right by your side tending to you so that took a took put a strain and and you 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 made it you made it through it and it's so inspiring because people have different challenges dick i i i haven't had the pleasure yet to read the book but juliana said to me that something even happened with your partners they basically uh, stopped well, well, the, the, the contracts were lost. The contracts the, were they lost. They dumped me. Yeah. Uh, I, I was, and, and blackballed me because I was incapable mm. in their minds. And uh, so I had to start from scratch. 
goodness. And I, le I learned how to do a lot of things better than before. You were uh, involved in some of the campaigns for advertising that folks out there in television land would, would recognize. Probably. Uh, can you name a few? Uh, do you remember the PSA airline? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I used to fly. Right. I'm old enough to fly uh, on PSA. Fly? I don't see any wings on it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, uh, um, a smile works on a person's face. And it sure worked well on those planes. Yeah. <laughs> what a sad thing when PSA that's right. became U.S. Air and the, and the smiles mm -hmm. went away. Th that's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, know, know this, that uh, sure there were a lot of advertising involvement. Uh, there were many slogans, there were many commercials. Uh, hey, I'm not going to name them all. Yeah, there were, uh, suffice it to say this, uh, the gimmick, if you will, in the book is in the chapter heads. I noticed. Yeah. Well, I Everyone that, is an Would you put that uh, cover on the screen now so that... Uh, Folks can see Live or Die, A Stroke of Good Luck by uh, Richard L. Burns. And, and uh, that, but did, remember I showed you, Gary, yeah. yesterday, the chapter names. That's like right. chapter one is Say It With Flowers. Say it with flowers. Oh, I was dead. <laughs> uh, let, let me just uh, uh, and you, you go talk through. about something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, chapters 11 through 17 are... Uh, uh, talking about pain and depression uh -huh. and stress and things of this nature. And you use Peter Paul candy bars. Sometimes you feel like a nut as exactly. a chapter title. You That's pick, right. You pick the advertising campaigns well, yeah. that fit that chapter. Uh, 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 that was so clever. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Uh, uh, Pepsin, remember Pepsin and toothpaste? Of course. You wonder where the yellow went? Uh, we're talking Great about campaigns. pain, uh, uh, depression, stress. How do you handle it? How do you take care of it? That's what the book's all about. Yeah. There are 35 million people out there, and they have something, a serious illness of some kind. If I can get a few hundred thousand and tell them how to handle it and how to come through it, then I've done my job. Absolutely. I like that the, the last chapter, good to the last drop. Yeah, Bolt, Maxwell, Maxwell House, House Coffee. Coffee. That's right. <laughs> There's, uh, there, and these were all of the... Uh, the uh, uh, products, uh, California Milk, um, uh, Xerox, Allstate Insurance, Burger King. Uh, your agency uh, was uh, uh, involved yeah, in all yeah. of these campaigns. And I recommend Agencies. Agencies. Okay, more than one, plural, agencies. Well, you know, there's uh, a lot of uh, colorful stories with some of the uh, entertainers that you have become very close with, but he was telling me about Phyllis Diller, mm -hmm. and I hadn't heard Phyllis Diller. I remember when she used to be on um, with the the squares. What was the name of that Hollywood square? Squares. Hollywood, Hollywood squares. squares. And she had that wild hairdo, and she was so fun. And yeah. Phyllis Diller in her early years was not a wild person. She was a very kind, good-looking young lady with a great sense of humor. She did have a great sense of hearing. You know, she was on one of the Groucho Marx You Bet Your Life shows uh -huh. uh, that we show on our other network, on the Coastal Television Network recently, as a very young woman. And, and she was an attractive oh, lady very, as a, as a young woman. She learned that by looking kooky, she got more attention. mileage yeah. and more uh, attention. Yeah. Well, you are going to be appearing <laughs> I tomorrow. I want to hear how you met her. Oh, okay. Real quick, before we change. Yeah. How did you meet her? We used to work together. Okay. Uh, in the very beginning, uh, uh, before Westinghouse brought, bought KPIX, KPIX and KSFO were one and the same. San Francisco. Okay. And she worked for KSFO and I worked for KPIX. And we worked together on a number of programs and projects and this How kind fun. of stuff. And it was fun. And Dick spent uh, some time in Fresno. You oh, were yes. You were there uh, during the Al Radka days. Uh, the, uh, we, we were known as the Keystone Crooks. The <laughs> Instead of cops. Exactly. Anyway, you are going to be appearing All right. tomorrow. Uh, I, I, and, I brought this. What he's, got, he yep, he's got his notes. All, All right. right. So tell tomorrow, us where you're going to be tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, there's a book signing at Borders in San City okay. from 1 to 3. Okay. Uh, the following Wednesday, I've got to be up at the Stanford Bookstore. Okay, and that's in the and, Stanford uh, Shopping uh, Center. No, it's that's on campus. Oh, it's on campus. On campus. Oh, wow. From six to eight. Well, we have to tell those students to get a hold of you. Oh, there'll be a few there. Yeah. 
uh, uh, then Thursday the 29th of April, back down here in Carmel. Oh, good. Okay, uh, great. Christopher's is uh, doing a little uh, hosting line oh, and hors d'oeuvres and so forth. And we're doing it at Gallery 21 in Carmel. That's on 6th. We'll be there. We'll be, you'll see us there. What Thank time you. is it from? From And that will be from... Uh, 5.30 to 7.30. Okay, okay, and we'll we'll talk about that some more to yeah, we'll be our talk, viewers. We'll tell our viewers all during the month here where you're The more be. the merrier. Absolutely. So, uh, and you signed, he signed my book he did? for me, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Personally you autographed. Know. Thank you. Of course. That meant thank a so lot. Much. That meant a lot. Well, Dick, thank you for being here tonight. It's really a pleasure to have... <laughs> to have you on the You don't show. get a kiss. Well, that's all right. I don't need one. I don't need one. And you know what? We're, you're local. Come back anytime. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. We'd love yeah, to see we'll you take again. a chapter. We could take a chapter at a time. All right. Out of your book. Go on over to, uh, to Borders <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, look for uh, Dick uh, and uh, get a personally autographed book. Great story. And it doesn't matter where you're at in life, your occupation, right? your age. This is a really wonderful story and I think that uh, uh, everyone can take something from it. Definitely so. Next time we'll do the story of Louis Armstrong. <laughs> okay. Oh I do want to hear that. Wait. Well we yes. will get you back on. You've got a lot to tell right. us so we'll have you Louis back Armstrong. on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Dick. Thanks for I being here tonight. It. Anyway on with more music right here on Monterey on tonight and uh, we've got some special guests coming up uh, in the next hour. Susie Rodriguez from First Impressions here. We'll have her on shortly, but right now, back to the music. Back to the music. And there's Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones, and boy, do they look young there. They do. That's wow. what happens. That's <laughs> <laughs> 1981. 1981, and you said that that uh, music or that song was they actually, actually wrote the song in 1975, and they just couldn't get it right, uh -huh. and they kept they just and they stick it back in the out. vault and get it back out, and, and but they actually it took six hours to get that recording. It that just one video? it was just like pulling teeth just really? to get mm. yeah just to get that. So well, uh, we had the police before that, uh, and uh, that was a great video, right? Yep. Yep, how Wanna you doing, Dave? He's our engineer tonight, Dave running our videos, and, and Catherine, Catherine is uh, our, our, producer our producer in the studio, having a little conference we back there. We uh, had Dick Burns here, and tomorrow at Borders from 3 to, I wrote Where did down, you lose the notes? 3 o'clock. You lost the notes. No, I've got it here. I wrote it down. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to find it. Where exactly did you put it? Here it there is. There it is. I found it. Aha. Uh -huh. 1 to 3 tomorrow? 1 to 3. Borders, borders in San City. In San City. You'll Everybody knows where Borders in San City is, yeah. I hope. Yeah. So if you can get out there and support, I think it's a, yeah, it's a it, great Yeah, it actually story. would make a great gift. Um, if you know anyone that uh, maybe is on the verge of a stroke because they're not living their life or right. Or they're working too, too hard. hard. Yeah, that happens. Or maybe just read it, and s if you ever have a personal situation, you'll be able to draw back on this yeah. experience yeah absolutely so, he uh, and it's easy read he's a too. phenomenal guy it is yeah. it is so anyway we are here every saturday night four hours live eight to midnight and we have our next guest in the studio we'll be bringing them on yes we're we will. gonna have a party we what? are we do that every saturday night we have fun uh don't forget go to our website and send us an email it's really simple just uh, go to kymbtv.com um, There's a feedback form there. You can tell us whether you like Shania or Robert Palmer's video best. Uh, that'll get you into our drawing tonight. Do you, uh, Actually, or just say hi and let us know where yeah, you're just watching let us know from. How, yeah, exactly. Because it really helps us to know. Let us know, you know how you like the, you show. Like the and show. We do this, as I said, every Saturday night from 8 to midnight live. We're here right now. And even, um, I think last week, uh, one of our viewers... Uh, said that she was watching our show and we want to say hi to her. Oh, well, that was Diana and she doesn't oh, get off no, work no, not until 10.30. No, Joyce? Joyce. Oh yeah, Joyce watches everything. Joyce and watches we got to meet her in person she at the Me and Ed's our, get together. She came to our party at Me and Ed's. So hi Joyce uh, and tonight. And Karen uh, and Gloria George and go Mary Go down the list. Uh, <laughs> it's getting longer and longer but we appreciate anyway, that. Anyway, um, <laughs> do that. Send us an and Doug, email. Doug, Doug watches. Lundstrom. 
I don't. La- say that again. Lumsden. <laughs> I just think it's slower. It's, it's, a, it's tongue, a tongue twister, twister for you. Mr. Monterey Dudley. Movie Tours. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So what's uh, uh, next? We Let's play some music, and our pizza will be here when we get back. Let's play some music. The next one is a... a um, Duran, Duran, Duran Duran the Reflex. This is a fun song. This is a good one. And right after that uh, is Madonna and Papa Don't Preach. Two great videos coming up right here on Monterey on tonight. Bye-bye. Hi, Sarah Nicole again right here on KYMV, and I'm back here at Me and Ed's Pizzeria in Seaside on Fremont and Broadway. I just wanted to announce they have a great deal going on. For $10, you get a large three-topping pizza of your choice, and let me tell you, this isn't dorm room pizza. This is great pizza with the freshest ingredients and taste-tested, award-winning recipes. So once again, Me and Ed's Pizza in Seaside on Fremont and Broadway. For delivery, call 831-899-0101. Bring in your friends and family for a pitcher of beer, award-winning pizza, salad bar. They got pizza, calzones, and once again, that special is $10 for a three-topping large pizza. I'm Sarah Nicole right here on KYMB. Uh, That was Sarah Nicole, and she's traveling uh, down to Hollywood uh, this weekend for a audition. Uh, So she'll... With Not her, be here with her or, movie reviews. We'll have to do them gonna, ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We're going to have to, like, get yeah. her a good booking agent to get us I, in. I, I think we just are going to have to get used to the fact that uh, she's in demand. So um, she did a little uh, movie thing here in Monterey for she Bob did. Franco. And um, she does our on-air work um, for the station and for the Coastal <laughs> Television Network. And now she's down... This weekend, well, she's uh, got an interview an with uh, an interview? NBC. With who? NBC. Your NBC. buddy over at, that was at NBC. Ed. My buddy, you, I just drew Quinn. a blank. Ed Quinn. Oh, Ed Quinn. He's <laughs> not at NBC. Well, he was. He was with McGraw-Hill, which he, had the NBC affiliate, right? Uh, ABC. Was it ABC? ABC okay. affiliate in San Diego. Yeah, you got me confused when you started. Well, I guess because I was confused. I, got I you think confused. you were confused. This is you why, got me this confused. This is why live TV is fun, folks. Yeah. Because we can confuse each other all night, and it's okay, right? All night long. No, <laughs> it's, an, it's ABC in San Diego. and um, But I think that's something different than what she's doing this weekend. Anyway, uh, before uh, we had uh, Sarah on the air, we had Madonna. Uh, that's kind of a neat segue, isn't it? From it is. Madonna to Sarah Nicole. Papa Don't Preach. That was kind of a controversial video that goes back into the 80s. I think she even she got did. in trouble she with did. the church yeah. uh, on that one. She did because she dedicated it to the Pope. <laughs> the Vatican got she mad was, at uh, Dave and I were talking during the video, Dave, our engineer, about how um, Madonna was always able to be on the edge. And... Um, and uh, mothers like so. me didn't want their little girls to, grow up to, <laughs> to, be like to watch Madonna. it. <laughs> anyway, so we have uh, coming up ABC, Poison Arrow, and I like that group. You do? Yeah, Poison Arrow. They they. What they, year was that? This 82? is actually this was yeah this was the eighties, but they actually did a song called The Look of Love that was my favorite. But this is a good one too. Okay. Poison Arrow, and I don't know if Dave's ready for that, but. He's David, ready. ready. We got the high arrow. sign okay, from Dave. Okay, let's let's go to do more poison music. Arrow, more let's music. Stuck. Yeah. I ended quick. Yeah, poison wow. arrow. Wow. Was like uh, whew. Here we are back with our next guest, Susie Rodriguez. Welcome, Susie, from well, First you. Impressions. Thank you for and having me. Party. You, par- party. You gotta say the whole thing. Okay. Right here. First Impressions Party Supply. <laughs> yep. Party and print. Woo-hoo. Right. Party, <laughs> party and print. And uh, thank you for, for saving our, our day for our launch party. You, uh, You're welcome. You I had so- a balloon crisis. Yes. I needed balloons, then the colors. I didn't know, quite know whether to go with orange or gold. I didn't want it to look like Halloween <laughs> with orange and black. And, and Susie was such a help. She's like, how about some of that gold and black? And that'll and take it away. it great. It mm-hmm. was so it really nice. Did. You did a good job. Though. And and thanks uh, to uh, Edward for delivering uh, them just yes. in time. Yes. You guys were He's there. He's my better half. He is. 
Yeah, we'll um, have to get him on sometime yes, on TV. Yes. I know he voted to have you on. Yes, tonight. he gets a little shy. Is, is I tried to drag shy? him on, but he's he a throws me at the wolves all the time. Uh, <laughs> tell us about uh, First Impressions Party Supply. Uh, you are over on East Franklin, mm -hmm. right downtown Monterey, right behind the McDonald's by Lake Ellis. Oh yeah, the new McDonald's. The new McDonald's. Yeah, yes, that's they correct. they tore down the old one mm -hmm. and put in the new one and. It took him forever. It, yeah, it did. <laughs> it was about three or four months, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, have you been to the new McDonald's? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, so have we. Yeah, I have we, three grandchildren. We crashed so. their grand opening. We crashed opening. their grand opening party. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. We yeah. saw the Tarpy's catering truck. <laughs> we crashed and so we it. crashed the party. It was great. But, we know Landon. But we so know much. Landon, so it was fine. They just forgot to send us an invite. That's <laughs> well, <all. laughs> we were new. We're <laughs> well, new. That's right. We were new in town at the time. Anyway, so you have party supplies, and you brought us a couple of really neat-looking hats tonight. This and is I, the, hattest, the hottest hat on the market right now. Wow. Of course, it's a, a license from Alice in Wonderland. Uh-huh. And it's the, a replica of the exact hat that Johnny wore on Alice in Wonderland. Well, uh, Alice in Wonderland, great movie. And, um, and then what's the other one? Now, now can people uh, th rent those? No, this is a purchase. It's a purchase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you also brought another neat looking yes. hat. And no, what see, is that'll match my outfit. Actually, yeah. do you want to put it on? Yeah. Or? See? see try, it, try it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. That is cute. Yeah. Really <laughs> neat. <laughs> I got and, rabbit ears. And uh, there. they can pick these. It's backwards really in the camera. Ba is it backwards? Well, when I move this way in the camera. Uh huh. It's actually really moving oh, that I see, way. Yeah. It's, you have yeah. to do everything reversed. Anyway, anyway, those are really neat, and they can pick those up. Those are only just a part of all the party exactly. supplies mm -hmm. and, and uh, costumes that you guys mm -hmm. have. When I was visiting with you uh, last week, you were telling me that one of the biggest times of the year for you is Halloween, obviously. Yes, it is Halloween. And then how about uh, New Year's Eve? Is that a big... New Year's is also a, a, big, a big holiday. And St. Patty's Day. What about uh, spring with all the weddings? Because um, you have a lot of resources. We do. And that's something I thought would be really great mm -hmm. to share with our viewers because we have a lot of viewers in the Central Valley who mm -hmm. look to come to the, to the coast to get mm -hmm. married and... And yeah. you can you can help with anything. With we that. did a wedding today on the beach. You did? Mm -hmm. Was right it windy? The, it was windy, <laughs> and we all prayed that the rain would not come, and it didn't. No rain, so, just wind. So yes, but we did a um, a wedding out in the beach today. And then what about for graduation party? Graduation, we are ready for graduation. We've got all our stuff out, and uh, so if you, anybody has anybody graduating, come on in. Uh, we also have a big cake and candy supply. Um, portion in our store and um, I used to be a cake professional cake decorator oh. so I'm pretty knowledgeable on all the items that we do have in the store so I can help you know what me. what um, when I walked into the store and you have so much in there <laughs> yes. and your eyes just go everywhere it I mean you could spend hours in this store we should take a go and take a picture we, we and really some video. should take some video and yeah, show the we'll folks what uh, for, uh, what uh, there is in the store and uh, everything for any party yes and then you also have in the back a printing shop yes and it was the 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 business at one time originally a printing business yes uh, Andrews printing Andrews printing um, originally it was in Seaside uh -huh. and it's been around for about 55 years okay so you guys purchased and so we the purchased printing shop. the printing shop and um, the stationary end of it was not doing so well. So I thought, party supplies. We party don't have supplies. a party supply place. So we can still get printing done. Yes, but definitely. But you're really specializing now in the party yes. supplies. And also, yes. you can do party invitation, printing party? We can do okay. invitations, wedding invitations. Okay. We do business cards, letterhead, envelopes, um, carbonless forms. Wow. Well, you've got a great we you've got a great shop, we folks. Do. If you haven't been, and you know what, it's a one way street going down. That's East Franklin, and it's right down the street from the sports center. Oh, yes. okay. On East Franklin. And right? in the back, there's a lot of hidden parking that people don't know about. Yeah, on the back side of mm -hmm. your store, yeah, plenty of parking yes. on the back. So. Um, maybe when I go to the sports center, I can sneak into your parking. Are you just <laughs> want that candy section? I think. 
got that cake and candy section. Yeah. Yeah, I, love, I love candy. That's my weakness. You know what? I thought it was so nice, Azusa. You brought a special gift for mm -hmm. our viewers yes. to yes. win yeah, in the drawing. A $25 mm -hmm. gift certificate. Good mm -hmm. at first impression. So tonight, uh, when we uh, get ready to go off the air, those of you that are sending your emails in tonight will have a chance to get this $25 certificate. Lots of fun things, believe we me. We love to give things away. We do. That's yep. what we do here. So you just have week. to send us a, a message through our uh, website, kymbtv.com. That's the easy way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Just say, hey, I want to enter. Put my name in the hopper. Or I'm watching from Santa Cruz or Salinas or Carmel. And we've got viewers from all over. We've gotten a lot of emails from different locations all throughout our coverage. It's really been fun. You know, maybe so. what we should do is go get, um, for the next occasion, we, we go get some costumes, and then we can wear them on our show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> kind of like disguises. You know what I think? Disguises? Well, yeah, I think we need to put Dave Johnson in a disguise. He likes to dress up. <laughs> we'll put him in one. We'll put Dave in one? Yeah. Uh, maybe we could, yeah, maybe we could do that. Yeah, well, I love... He'd, gr he'd look great in one of these hats. I will tell you, I love parties that are just for no reason. I agree. I yes, love, I agree. I love to think, you know, when my daughter was a young girl, and she would be getting ready for a party, and they'd say, what's it for? She goes, just because my mother loves me. Yeah. And it would be a clown party, <laughs> or it would be a dress-up party, or a girl party. And and she got a big kick out of it just mm -hmm. because. Yeah. Sometimes, just you because. know, people wait for a, a certain time on the calendar, but really, life, mm -hmm. you know, is Have something to... Have a party every week. There and you go. Go see Susie yep, at come and First see Impressions. Yes. Well, thank you for the gift certificate. I oh, know our welcome. viewers thank are going to Thank you. So enter. Enjoy that. And, we'll uh, give it away? We will. We will. We'll do that just before we go off the air. We'll have uh, Catherine, our producer, pull your hopefully your name out of the hat. <laughs> and uh, or You know what? That'd be great if we could pull it out of the hat, but she's got to take those back <laughs> to the store. So we'll use our fishbowl like we do every week. Well, we want to thank uh, our sponsor now for the hour, Ola Mexican Restaurant. Going into the next hour, Ola over at the Barnyard in um, in Carmel. Carmel. Uh, just uh, say hi to Bernadette if upstairs, you go on in she's upstairs. upstairs. It, you, you know what? what? A lot of people know that particular location is Bixby's. That's true. From the it years. was so Bixby's. It used to be Bixby's. As a matter of fact, you know, Joyce is the one that said that. Yeah. Our viewer, yeah, Joyce. One of our, yeah, she, she, she remembered exactly where it was, so... Anyway, and we're going to be there next month having a little get-together like we did this last uh, week with uh, me and Ed. Yep. So anyway. And my papers got out of order, honey. They did. Yeah, so, so you don't know what the next video is? What is it, Dave? Uh, I have it here. Let's see. We had... Uh, Oh, good, I ran. I like this song. Okay, A Flock of Seagulls 1982, and, and this made The Flock of Seagulls a, such a success because it was in 1982, and MTV played it... Over and, over and over and over. All the time. You remember it? Yes. Yes. Well, so thank you, Susie, for thank being you. here. Thank you. Welcome. We'll see you over at the store. Yes, and I hope to see you at my store. Absolutely. We will. They have uh, three locations up in uh, Northern California. There are two. And then, of course, the one in the barnyard in Carmel, Ola. And Denise and Richard have uh, mentioned they may even possibly come be on our show as oh, a guest. Great. They're the owners of Ola and Bernadette. Yeah is Ber right in there Bernadette right is. with them she runs it she's there from sun up to sun and they have those specials why don't you tell them about those specials during the week well they have hot hot tuesday nights anything off uh 50 off their food menu item on tuesdays on two tu tuesday nights and then and then on mondays and fridays so to remember that you just remember the beginning of the week and the end of the week okay from 11 to 4 their lunch menu so you can get 50 percent off okay and you know it'd be great just to support you know, local business, and we'll be there next month with right. our KYMB get together. And we will give the we'll date. be talking about it all next month. Yes, we are. Gee, we can are. you believe it's uh, the tenth uh, of April already? You know what that means? Taxes. Yeah, next week. The 15th. Everyone's saying, "Why don't you file an extension?" And I'm thinking, it's just like, you st I still have to plug the numbers in. I may as well just get them done. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, TurboTax is such a relief. You love TurboTax. You know why? You? Because it just asks you the questions and you just answer let's, them. And uh, let's see if we can get them as a sponsor. Yeah, well, I just, you know what, even if we don't, just to do our viewers a favor, it's worth whatever the, you know, it, actually I think it's 
there's a free version. You can try it. Really? You don't have to actually pay until you're finished with your taxes. So if you don't like the way it worked out, then... That was a great testimonial. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> if it helps anybody out there, because I know what it, what a feeling it is to have that in front of you no matter what. You know, they say, though, 50% of all Americans are not going to owe taxes. Really? Yeah, I think... Well, I guess it's because of the economy. Yeah, I think... Yeah, uh, everybody's had a... You don't know, but I do. Yeah. <laughs> We file separately. Don't we? It's been a tough year in the. I tell them next year we're filing. We're filing together. Actually, so it's been a, uh, the last two years have been a pretty tough. It has been, a lot of changes in the two TV years. business. A lot of restructuring and a lot and, of changes uh, going on furloughs. in the television business. The digital age with all of the conversions. Um, the channels now, as you folks know out there, maybe you don't know, are uh, multiple channels on one channel of video. In fact, that's how we're able to do more than one channel on our Channel 27 here in Monterey. Which we'll is a broadcast channel over the, the year. The broadcast channel mm -hmm. with four streams of video. One of those being our uh, movie channel from MGM, This TV, that is on this channel. Comcast. Comcast Channel 19, 19 every day with movies from yesteryear. Uh, actually, the stars before they were stars are in the movies that we show here every day. And we'll have to do our own movie review tonight because Sarah Nicole is not here. But we we'll will. do that later in the show. We will. But we got to see her in the uh, Me and Ed's promo we a few did. minutes ago. And talking about movies, later on tonight, uh, within the next hour, we're also going to have um, the manager from the Lighthouse Cinema in Pacific Grove. Ben Beautiful is here. Beautiful theater. Ben is here, and we're going to talk about current movies that are over at the Lighthouse. So we'll do that tonight. So stay tuned. Okay. You're watching Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. We're here every Saturday night from 8 to midnight, live TV on Comcast Channel 19. And let's go back to the music. This is Stray Cats. Oh, I like Stray Cats. And Here's this is, uh, they were born, born, formed. <laughs> Well, they were born at I'm, one I'm point trying to make time. our guests feel better because yeah. they're like, what's it like with live team? I'm like, if you can goof up, it's no big deal. So I just, I did that on purpose you did. to make them feel better. Oh, so I okay. Like, they yeah, were I'm sure you did. Stray, <laughs> Stray Cats were formed in 1980. Yeah, that saved myself. <laughs> okay, so here's Stray Cats, and what's the name of this one? This is Because uh, I don't have my list. Cute and 17. Oh, yes, I do. Cute and 17. <laughs> All right, here's the Stray Cats. And uh, that, that was, goes uh, back to what year? That was 1983. You know, somebody was uh, asking me the other day, how come you guys don't have teleprompters like the big stations do? I don't know, it's much You know, fun. like the news people do. You can just, they yeah, just look we have at the a, camera. We have a preview screen right under our camera. Yeah. But it's just a preview screen. They thought it was a teleprompter. Well, but yeah. we could be reading everything on the screen, and then you would think we were really smart and that we memorized everything. I'll bet they think when they watch the news that those folks memorize all that script. <laughs> I don't. You know, four, I asked Hunter Fennell when he was four on. Four hours of on, TV? Oh, what did you ask Hunter? I asked Hunter if the, if he memorized everything that was in the newscast. He said, of course not. It's a yeah. telephone. Well, can you imagine, Gary, four hours of typing and in our you, script into a teleprompter? I know, you, I know you have a photographic memory, but you even you couldn't remember everything, no, right? no. <laughs> we want to thank Catherine Nagel, our executive producer, and Dave Johnson, our engineer, and for holding. The, uh, they are the glue that holds this whole show together. <laughs> if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have a show. So if you ever see a best of Monterey on tonight, it's probably because something happened to one of them. <laughs> <laughs> something happened to us. Or yes. one of them. Anyway, anyway, so what's up? Well, Ola is our special uh, sponsor yes. of the hour. We want to thank them, and I found actually another special. You did? Yes. Great. Bernadette's really great about once you get on their email list, she'll keep you up to date on uh, as they have special events because they have sometimes tequila tastings. They have all sorts of events throughout the year. You know, speaking of that, well, I've noticed that when you go into any of these establishments today and you give them an email address, yes. you're always getting goodies from them yes. by email. Five dollars off, ten percent discount. Yes. So you know, if you guys have a an email address where you get all your junk email, that would be a good place to. to well, actually, I have a couple of emails. One's for mailing lists. Yeah. And then one's more for personal correspondence, and I, I always see. check both. But I I know what is for what. 
So uh, anyway, but if you'd like to be on the uh, Ola uh, email list, list. then uh, e uh, send us a note at kymbtv.com, and I'll be sure Bernadette gets I'll forward, forward it, it to Bernadette. Bernadette so that you can get updated. Well, so anyway, what's the specials? Well, this came through. It's bring this coupon in and receive three courses for two people for $20. Wow. Ten bucks each. Half order Can't of nachos, that. chicken chikamangas, or quesadilla fritas. You get to pick an appetizer. And then you pick two entrees, which is a burrito, a tostada salad, quesadilla, or carnitas. And then you get to pick a dessert. Pretty neat. Yeah. So it's it's just pouring $20 in and your tip money. And you can pick this and be a great date. So anyway. Yeah. We will be having a KYMB get-together next month. At Ola, At in, Ola. In the barnyard in Carmel. And we will as you let go down know. Re, as you go down Highway 1 and Rio Road, just hang a left and go over to the barnyard. And we want to remind everyone tomorrow at Borders is the Dick Burns, the author's book signing. Dick was on earlier tonight. Great story. Uh, stop by Borders tomorrow at 1 o'clock. 1 to 3. So you remembered. I'm all looking through my notes. 1 so to I don't 3. Get, yeah, good. 1 yeah. to 3. You forgot? Well, I just want to make sure I had it oh, right. Oh, you had it right. I had I mean, it right. You didn't want the people to go there, and then Dick would be gone. <laughs> I didn't want to say it three, because then he's on he's, his way out. He's on his way out And he's door. still actually here in the studio. He's enjoying some me and Ed's. Pizza. Yeah. Hi, Dick. Thanks for so. sticking around. And in wine. He's holding his wine glass. <laughs> Great. <up. laughs> That's we're, why. That was we're having year. We're having a little party here in yes. the studio. Okay, uh, so back to the music. We'll look forward to hearing who's next. Who is next? Did you lose your place? Uh, this is Talk to Me by Stevie Nicks. Ah, Some Stevie of our uh, that, viewers really like Stevie uh, with uh, formerly with Fleetwood Mac. Okay, do you remember the song "Missing You" by John Waite? Yes, I do. Missing, missing okay, you, I love missing, that song. Yeah. Well, the fellow that wrote that song also wrote this song of hers called "Talk to Me." It's his name's uh, Chaz Stan Sanford, and Sanford plays most of the instruments on this song. Okay, and um, you know, I was just thinking we're going to have. Uh, some guests from radio tonight too. Yes, we later. are. So um, stay tuned. Don't go any. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We you, have, and if you go anywhere, DVR us. That's Enjoy. right. Two Five bucks a month. Comcast DVR. You can record the show and play it back with all the music, every night if you want. <laughs> that's what I told Joyce to do. Okay, here's some Stevie Nicks. Here we go with Stevie. And there's Stevie before. Um, she, it was uh, Fleetwood Mac, the group that Stevie was in, and. Um, you wanted me to talk about what was... Well, it went to number four on the top, top 100. Mm -hmm. It was it was that big a hit. That was a really big hit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. I didn't know that. You didn't know, <laughs> didn't Did know, you know that? that? I didn't know anyway, that. Uh, this is our, uh, our guest for this hour. This is Ben. Castillo. Castillo from uh, Lighthouse Cinemas. General Manager. In Pacific Grove. And you've been having some fun over there with uh, the last... Uh, Good old days, uh, right? Correct. Uh, good old days started today, and it goes until tomorrow for the entire town of Pacific Grove. Um, we, the Lighthouse Cinemas, are celebrating with The Wizard of Oz showtime at 6 p.m. today and tomorrow. Uh, we're celebrating with dollar hot dogs. We're going back to the good old prices. Wow. So we have dollar hot dogs, dollar small drinks, dollar junior popcorns, um, matinee price for the 6 p.m. show, which normally is $9, so it'll be six fifty. Um, good old... Good old, good old day prices. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Good for you, Ben. That's great. And tell them where uh, light if they just happen to be from Mars. Tell them where the Lighthouse <laughs> Cinema is. Well, the Lighthouse Cinemas is at five two five Lighthouse Avenue. Um, it's located right in downtown Pacific Grove. As you drive into Pacific Grove from Monterey, you'll see it on the left hand side. Big old old fashioned building. We have a clock tower. It's beautiful. So and the seats are it. comfortable. They we have rock. rocker seats. Uh, uh, we upgraded. That was the first thing we upgraded when we took over. So uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. We're still renovating. We got some big <clears> plans for this summer. We're going to celebrate our second year on May 8th. So That's come great. on down. Yeah. That's great. We'll invite uh, Are you okay? all of our. Yeah, I, I. You know what I always tell him? Growl like a bear. I, I can growl. But just don't turn the mic. Go. Let's see, we'll let you. Get it out. It, it, something happened there with the water. Do you I know the I... first time we went? Do you remember the first time we went to the Lighthouse Cinemas? <coughs> it was Allison Eastwood's directorial debut. Gary it was? Hamada. He he had the he was in the know and then the Monterey County Film Commission we were members, and supported them and Dave took the video camera and and Clint was there. Yep, supported his daughter and, and her mom. And Maggie. that was the night we got to meet Maggie. Yep, and I actually have a DVD. Da Gary has been so patient. I actually have it for him tonight. I just have to print a label. So anyway, but uh, 
Were you at Lighthouse then? I was not. I was in uh, at another assignment in Palm Springs. In Palm Springs. So how long have you been there now? Um, I've been here since November of 08. Oh, good. Well, that's quite a while. And you know what? I went on um, Google today mm -hmm. uh, to see what was playing. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if I'm right here. Okay. If this is correct. <laughs> Date night. Correct. And that's the uh, Steve Carell and Tina, Tina Fey, Tina have Fey you seen movie. It? I have not. We just got it yesterday, and I've been working on this. I haven't had a chance to. You going to? But everybody that walks out of there la is laughing. So really? Claire and I Phil Foster are a suburban couple slogging through their daily lives and marriage. Even their date nights of dinner and a movie have become routine. To reignite the marital spark, they visit a trendy Manhattan bistro. Mm -hmm. Does that <laughs> does that sound about right? That sounds perfect. Okay, and. Um, <laughs> And that is, let's see, check the times here and see if this is right now, because otherwise you've got to call Google and tell them right. they've got the wrong information. Um, 10 a.m., mm -hmm. 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, 10. That is correct. And it's wow. rated PG-13. PG, and then, and then also, mm -hmm. Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans, And Which that is, is uh, that is uh, the ultimate struggle for power pits men against kings and kings against gods. But the war between the gods themselves could destroy the world. Born of a god but raised as a man. How do you say this name here? Perseus. 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 Perseus, okay. Perseus is helpless to save his family and Dave hot, saw that one. And hot as vengeful He's God. And, is it good, Dave? Yeah, I saw it at the Lighthouse Cinema. Uh, okay. He saw it at your theater. Say Thank that. you. You know, I like the Lighthouse Cinema because it's it's local. It's yeah. local, it's yeah. Co it's, it's so cozy and it's comfortable. You're not just overwhelmed with just, you know, that big corporate And we're sure glad deal. you guys came back well, because you. They closed for a while, and we thought, oh, well, they, my goodness. There were goodness. previous owners before we, oh, we got okay. it. Oh, okay. Well, so. tell your owners thank you for I will reopening the lighthouse. And that's at 1030 in the morning, 1245, 3 o'clock, 515, 730, and 945. Mm -hmm. Correct so far? I think so. You think so? <laughs> yes. Sure. There's They're so many showtimes that fly through my desk. You know that, what? But you know what? It's Google, and I'm a huge Google fan, so I'm going to say, yeah, that's correct. Oh. <laughs> We're on a game show. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, that's right. Okay. What about, no, but, but there's one more. Yeah, I'm going to do the next oh, okay, one. Okay, cool. and then the last one I have down here is the last song. Who's is that correct? That? Mm -hmm. I don't okay, know. Okay, the oh. last song. Um, oh, that's Miley's. It, Miley Cyrus. Oh. oh, I heard something today about a huge lawsuit. With who? With Miley Cyrus. Why? I don't know. Is she like, suing someone or someone no, suing no, her? No, no, someone was suing her. I will Google it. Unless yeah. you would like to, viewers. Yes, why don't you guys go to Google <laughs> and well, then we'll send us an email and tell us what's going on with Miley. Going on. Anyway, uh, best, based <laughs> on the best-selling novelist Nicholas Sparks' forthcoming novel, the last song is set in a small southern beach town where an estranged father gets a chance to spend the summer with his reluctant teenage daughter. Is her daddy in it? I don't think so. Oh, okay. He's no. not in it with her. She's no. cute. Yeah. I think she's done pretty good because and her dad keeps an eye on her. Her dad does keep an eye on her. Good old Billy. Anyway, uh, 10.15 a.m., 12.30, 35, 5 o'clock, 7.15, and 9.30 for the last song. That is correct. A lot that, of good choices. <laughs> lots of good choices. Comedy. Yeah. I will have to call Google because I do have one more that is not on that list. What oh, my goodness. How to Train Your Dragon. How, oh, Disney no, you know what? It is. Show. It is. It is here. How to Train Your Dragon, 1045, oh, 1, 315, 745, and 10. But you know what? I don't have the synopsis. Mm -hmm. So who who's in that? You know what? There's It's it's one of those animated films from DreamWorks Disney, so there's tons of actors in there. Okay. I mean, they even give the trees the actors. So really? Everybody's in that <laughs> film, yes. Okay. So I um, heard that was a really good... I hear it was even some people liked it as much as they liked Up. I mean, that, that it was that I well don't think done. DreamWorks... Disney can do a bad film, no, in my opinion. No, they can't. Now, how, tell me this. You're showing The Wizard of Oz. Correct. It was uh, filmed in 1939. Correct. One of the great movies of all time. You knew that? Of course. Without, oh. without, without The Wizard of Oz, Are you I mean, here you know, as Wizard of Oz, Gone with the Wind, great movies, you know, color. Uh, of course, at the beginning of Wizard of Oz, it was in black and white. Um, but tell me. Did, how does it hold up today? The, the actual that, print? Uh, no, the, the movie. The if movie? You, if you go see the movie today, is it dated? I mean, if they, if little kids see it today, what do they think about The Wizard of Oz? I, th I think the kids will be confused with the black and white color. Uh -huh. But, uh, I, I mean, it's... Timeless. Huh? It's Yes, it's, it's a classic. Um, I've been doing the classic film series for 
since September, and I've only had two films that have done exceptionally well, and The Wizard of Oz was one of them. And, and it's we, tomorrow. We opened it, yes, we opened it on Thursday night, uh, and then tomorrow will be the last showing at 6 p.m., and tomorrow, we've already had pre-sale tickets for tomorrow's show. So See, there you go. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for a sold-out one. A sold-out Wizard of mm -hmm. Oz in the year 2010. Can you believe that? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. 70-year-old movie. How about that? So, folks, if you want to go over to the Lighthouse in Pacific Grove, free parking. Free parking free behind parking, the theater. Behind free the theater. popcorn on Mondays. Oh, free popcorn on Mondays. Oh. Wow. See what you find out by watching this show? <laughs> Good. I didn't See know what that. we find out yeah. by doing this show. <laughs> free popcorn Thanks, on Mondays. Free popcorn That's on Mondays. Great, Thank ben. you for having me. Yeah. Don't forget, folks, um, catch a movie there. Uh, support your local business. Uh, support the local Pacific Grove businesses and uh, drop and there's by. some great restaurants in Pacific Grove, oh so you God. can make a Tons. so you can make a, a complete yeah, event just, out of it. Yeah, it's great. Just go over and camp out. Have and fun. That's, it's great because you can just walk, park, and then you just walk, and then you just. They can go to Fandango. Yeah. They can go to Joe Rombie's. I mean, there's all kinds they of have good coffee, things. Lighthouse Coffee Shop is Lighthouse across the street coffee from shop. us. The Victorian Corner, great breakfast. See really? that. Okay. Well, if you guys are looking uh, for a guide to take you through Pacific Grove, <laughs> go see Ben. Tell him uh, you saw him here on Monterey on tonight. I'm sure he'll take good care of you. Yep. I will. And okay. would you like to come back? We'd love to have you. Absolutely. Yeah. From time to time and let us know what's going on. And I will Maybe we'll updates. even take the camera out. And well, you know what we do uh, normally, and you didn't get to meet her tonight. We have Sarah Nicole here. Mm -hmm. And Sarah goes through the list of the MGM movies. Well, he, that he met her at the, at the oh, party. Oh, he did. Oh, he that's did, yes. right. Okay, so... We can bring Sarah over to the theater. You know what we'd like to do? She's not here tonight, and I'd like to tell you what we've got up our sleeve. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Sarah, when she was 14 years old, did her first on-camera work. She was 14, right? She was 13, 14. 14. In Fresno, in front of the Edwards Theater, and she did a movie review for Wimbledon and Shark Tales. It is so funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> and what we would like to do is we'd like to arrange for her to come out and do a movie review with you. Mm -hmm. And then we would like to play it, but then we would like to, after playing it, show, show the clip. The, the clip from Let's because do it. it includes bloopers. Let's do it. Seven of years her, ago. Of seven years ago. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's just so okay. cute. Okay. Well, great. So, so we'll she's not it. here, so she doesn't know what we've got up our sleeve. So yeah, we'll surprise her. We'll surprise her. Okay. Right. Great. Okay. Ben, Sounds thank like you so much. Thank what you. What is on the list here? Let's see. Uh, Dave, tell me what it is. Survivor? Survivor. Oh, and I can't hold back. 1984. 1984. Here Good it is. Song. Music from On Tonight. And that was uh, I Can't Hold Back, uh, Survivor. And you said that you have a little uh, tidbit uh, from the Internet here. Well, when FM was just getting some ground, because before, remember, AM was the AM thing. Radio, AM radio, FM radio, right. Right, everybody listened to AM radio, and then the FM licenses started coming out. Well, what a lot of AM radio stations did was they would just simulcast their yeah. music on the FM, and the FCC got very unhappy with that. So they started making some rules on the kinds of music. And so Survivor was actually... Uh, one of the first groups to adjust the sound of their music and the style oh. of their music to be different. Because you remember in Fresno we had KMAK, and remember some right, of the AM music, radio playing uh, right? But the some of that 40. music it was not something that crossed over onto FM. to FM. So the Survivor group, that sound that you hear, it's called A O R sound. It's just there's a name for it. A O R. And they were one of the first ones that broke the ground for there not to be a simulcast of AM, FM stations. So Very good, Jules. Well, anyway, the, the radio station owners loved it because they were at a loss as to what to do now with all of this new... It's like what we deal with with digital television. We have all these channels now. What do we do with them? What do we do with them? <laughs> That's a good question. So well, anyway. I know what we're going to do with uh, the new channel. We're going to have Retro TV. Yes. We're talking to Retro, and we're going to have cool TV. And, you know, we have America One Network on our digital sub-channel. It's actually uh, broadcast 27.3. Dot, dot four. America One? No. 27.3 is the Coastal Television oh, right. Network I'm here in Monterey. Yes. 27.4 is... Well, America One Network has a great mix because they have a lot of sports. Yeah, and they have the uh, CFL lot, football. The CFL football, but they also play um, a lot of different, like, home shows. And Teeny Shake is actually... On the network. On the network. Uh, and the he just was telling me that he got a call from a fellow out of Ohio 
that is, I'm not going to go into too much detail and spoil his news fund, but it's really a big, big deal. This person that saw him out of an Ohio distribution point, and that's from the America One Network. America One Network is on our 27.4, and if you're wondering what we're talking about, you say, well, that's Greek to me because I have Comcast Cable Channel 19. There are uh, television stations like Channel 8 and Channel 46, Channel 35 here in Monterey that have sub-channels, but the only way you can get them is by uh, having an outside antenna, kind of the way people used to watch television in the old days when they had a TV antenna up on the house. Well, if you have an antenna, and we're not saying to disconnect your cable by any means, but maybe but there's you a should second have an, TV. There's a second you should, TV. You should have an antenna at the house, and today there are multiple new stations available free over the air as long as you have an antenna. So we have one channel on Comcast 19, and we have three additional streams of programming. On channel 27, 2, 3, and 4. Yeah, that's not on cable. And you so know what's strange is our new over-the-air channel. Which one? Is going to be 19. So people are really going to be confused <laughs> I told you, because we it's going to be and it's 19 KM cable and 19 over the and air with KMBY. And, and you know what's going to really confuse them? KMBY. One's KYMB and one's KMBY. <laughs> if you're confused, go to the website and you can Actually, read all just about don't it. feel bad. Just just tune in every Saturday. Yeah, tune night. in and have, <laughs> and have fun. This is Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary. I'm Jewel. Thanks we're for here. watching. Yes, and we're here every Saturday night uh, from 8 o'clock to midnight, live TV. Comcast Channel 19. And we have giveaways, and we have so many giveaways tonight. We have And eight. you have not even had a chance to look at the email No, I'm going to go do that with, during our next set of songs. So please send us an email. Go to our website. Uh, well, let me a, tell them what we're going to give away. What are we giving away tonight? Do you know? I know. We're going to give a $25 certificate, a gift certificate uh, to First Impressions. Yes, First Party Impressions. First, par uh, party first Impressions first Party and Print. <laughs> <laughs> We've got First Susie Impressions Party up. and Print. Well, they're and, everything. Uh, so. On East Franklin. And um, that's tonight. And then you also just got from Ben mm -hmm. some tickets. We're two give tickets two to tickets. the Lighthouse Cinema in Pacific Grove. Yep. So we're going to have two drawings tonight. Can you beat that? Nope. And you don't have to buy a thing. Nope. And you can watch for free. For contest rules, email me and I will send them to you. There are no rules. It's just but I have watch to officially say that. Yeah, I'm right. supposed to say that. Watch it's like the a legal. show. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to buy. Okay, back to the music. Okay. Uh, do you know what's next? Because I see... Is New it, disc. Is it, a, is it Rainbow? Rainbow, and then after Street that... Street of Dreams? Is and then a Minute Work? Minute Work. Hey, Minute Work, this Who is a it be now? great, great video from the 80s, the MTV days coming up. So two more videos, and then we'll be back with our next guest. Sounds good. Who Can It Be Now by the Australian band Men at Work. Uh, that goes all the way back to uh, 1979. And uh, right now on Monterey On Tonight, I'd like to welcome our weekly guest, Gary Hamada. And Gary, who did you bring tonight? <laughs> well, it is none other than the uh, ex former executive director of the Animal yeah. Friends Rescue Project, Tara McCabe. And she's also a radio personality on KNRY. I've yeah. heard of that Tele station. Radio station. <laughs> the very famous. The very yeah. famous 1240 yeah. AM, uh, Jim Boston down on Canary right. Road. Jim Historical yeah. Yeah. AM. For and they're on Friday nights. Yep, Soul Vibes with Frankie Knight. Yeah, 7 to 9. Mm -hmm. 7 to 5 to 9, and it's a fun time. We play soul music from the 60s and 70s. Soul Vibes, time. right? So you guys, have, vibes you, guys, you guys have known each other uh, a oh. long time. Yeah. About four or five years. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Always anyway. by phone. And and Tara yeah, would come on the yeah. Tara would come on the show, mm -hmm. my radio show, every week, and mm -hmm. she would do give the pet of the week, and right. uh, and we had a little segment called My Pet Peeves, uh -huh. yes. and she would uh, uh, you know oh, give us solutions. Right. That was fun. We were talking. <laughs> you need about to revive that pet peeves. Yeah. I like that it idea. Is, it is very yeah. fun. You know, we were talking about different pet issues um, mm -hmm. people had, and um, we talked uh, a couple of times during the summer about leaving animals in the car. You don't want to do that with the oh, windows right. and things like that. So, yeah. but, but Tara would always have uh, the remedies for my pet peeves. Oh, and, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. Sometimes I was winging it, but yeah. So you're a, you're an animal lover then. I I do. I have actually I have four rescue cats and three rescue dogs. Oh, good for and you. And I, I used to rescue horses, but um, 
Horses are rather difficult in this economy. Yeah. <laughs> and to rescue you you got to so, buy yeah. a lot of hay. Yeah, a lot of hay. <laughs> well, I know you did the horses, uh, the rescue. And I think it was on television uh, about a couple years ago, and it was the flyers. Oh, yeah. we were uh, actually we, we tried to help out yeah. as much as we could, but that was SBCA really mm -hmm. helped there. Mm -hmm. They have um, they said Animal facilities. Friends Rescue Project. Well, we yeah. were we were helping with cats and dogs. Yeah. Oh, cats okay. and dogs. Yeah, yeah. and bunnies. And bunnies. And bunnies, yeah. So. Now, how, uh, I'm going to ask Gary. Go ahead, Gary's uh, was an old DJ right. on your station. Oh. Yeah, Way before back. it was KNRY, it used to be KMBY back when oh. I was at Fort Ord and worked there as a disc jockey a mm -hmm. long yes. time ago. Now they call it radio personality. Yeah, radio yeah. personality. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, well, you know, know there's right? no more discs. There are CDs yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone asked me that the other day. What's a CD mean? What's that mean? Ooh, I said certificate perfect. of deposit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, the, the thing with Tara, uh, as when she came on every week, Gary, is that she would have um, uh, a number of animals that were mm -hmm. up for adoption. And you can still go to the Animal Friends Rescue Project website and see all the animals that are up for adoption. And then right. she would have a pet of the week right. uh, that, that she particularly cared for to, to adopt. And they were always like senior animals or animals yeah. that maybe had you know, like a broken one leg or that type of thing. The too old, yeah. the too young, and the medically challenged. That was our yeah. niche. So too we old, would, too young, and medically challenged. Yep, yep. And we would, what we would do is pull from the shelters the ones that were most at risk of being euthanized, and yeah. we would bring them into our program to find them forever homes. Oh, what a, so great, we, what yeah. a great thing. And Animal Friends Rescue yeah. Project uh, would not euthanize any of the pets no. they bring in. They would have yeah. a, a foster homes or adoption for right. every animal. Which yes. is what I love about And it. I think the longest we've had an animal was maybe two years was the very longest, and that was one that had some behavioral issues. I almost adopted that one. I can't remember. It was yeah. just, you know, there was a couple of them, but one was that yeah. little uh, you know, little pug, and then the chihuahuas. But, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys and need to revive that. Are you doing it now? Uh, the, the Animal Friends Rescue yeah. Project? Oh, it's still running. It's it got a volunteer. One of the founders is running it um, as yeah. a volunteer. Kelly and Larian was, yeah. on she was on last uh, week. She, yeah. yeah, she's one of the uh, founders, and she was on last Posh week. Posh Pets. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And, and in fact, that, yeah, yeah. I st we still volunteer Frankie Knight and myself. Um, in fact, Frankie, um, the host of Soul Vibes, will be on KSBW tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning very early. About 7.15 to 7.30. Uh, I watch that all the time. And it, yeah. You get, yeah. Live. It, yeah. Live. Uh, Pet of the week. Yeah, and I was off air. I was telling a story about one when, when of his first times he was bringing a live animal into the studio there. Um, he lost a kitten, was feeling playful and ran off. And so that the host, the anchor, and the cameraman and Frankie were chasing. Uh, chasing the yeah, cat. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Yeah. And yeah. I had that happen to me at a radio station. Do you have already so. the pet picked out for tomorrow for Frankie? Then? Um, yeah, a kitty. Oh, we're going to bring. Kitty. Yeah. Now, do you do you have more cats or more dogs? More cats. Um, Seventy percent of the animals um, that are euthanized, unfortunately, in the shelters are, are, are cats. cats. And uh, so we pull more of those. And then we also pull as many dogs as we can. And the dogs that we can't pull um, go to the transport program. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that was started um, uh, with a donation to get a van and we transport dogs to different shelters throughout California mm -hmm. and that we can't pull them directly into the program. So for instance, this year, over 2,000 dogs were rescued. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, alone. She came up with some very innovative uh, fundraising ideas. And nowadays, you know, the, yeah. the, uh, it's really challenging for, uh, for any nonprofit to uh, raise funds. And when yeah. it was a comedy uh, uh, event. Oh, yeah, the comedy Is event. It, you have a relative that's uh, going to yeah. be on Showtime? Yes, yes, my brother, Colin Moulton. <laughs> and oh, you right. can you can actually see him, Colin Moulton, M-O-U-L-T-O-N.com. Is he on YouTube? And, um, he's Yeah, on YouTube. He's all over. But he, his Showtime special will be airing this summer, is what oh, I'm told. Great. I don't know the exact date, so just look for him. It's a half-hour special. Well, let us know, and we'll yeah. plug it right here. But, you know, you just had Ben cause, um, here from Lighthouse Steel, Cinemas. From Lighthouse yeah, Cinemas, yes. um, we had a fundraiser there. Oh, they they were so generous and did all. They donated the space, um, helped us with popcorn and everything else Great. and um, promo, and we had about two hundred and some people show up. That's wonderful. And for comedy. That's do you wonderful. do any stand up yourself? Uh, oh, does it run in the family? Yeah. At all? Is it your brother? <laughs> yeah, I think Colin has all that talent, but um, <laughs> so people tell me I'm funny without me trying. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, I've always <laughs> thought stand up is a hard way to make a living. Yes. It's, it is, it's, yeah. it's tough, but if you really do get in mm -hmm. and people like the act, you're on your way to big yeah. time. Yeah, that's what you should do, Gary. You should oh, do some stand, stand up. up. There you go. You you are really funny. You're funny. Oh, I'm yeah. trying. Well, I don't, I'm not trying to be funny though, Gary. <laughs> oh well, that's the key though. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Someone told me that once before, but I said, seriously, if I tried to be funny, I probably wouldn't be. Ah, well, yeah. it all depends on the material that someone writes yeah. And for. the delivery. I was just thinking. And with, the delivery. Well, that's true. Yeah. Uh, so in, 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 in a case where uh, you and you and, you and um, Julian, Jules are on, on, up here, yeah. you guys are funny all the time. Oh, well, yeah, time but you know what? Time. That's just, that comes natural. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> We're rapport. doing that. And I think the rapport that you and Frankie probably have on the radio is like that. It just becomes, you become infectious mm -hmm. because yes. you're together all the time. And, and so you have We have, have a lot of quirks. inside jokes. Yeah, we have right. funny things that go on. And, and yeah, we have a lot of fun with that um, show. And, you know, sometimes it's inadvertent humor, but. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, play a video and okay. then we'll, uh, we'll get Frankie on here so we can have him talk about uh, the radio show as well. Yes, uh, you definitely. guys are on KNRY. Mm hmm. Uh, Friday nights, 7.05 to 9 o'clock. That's right. And it's called Soul, Soul Vibes with Soul Frankie Vibes. Knight. Yeah. Soul Vibes. Yeah. Yes, and we, we can, he was doing, um, vol he was doing volunteer work for AFRP. He has this great um, voice, which you'll hear in a few minutes. And I said, hey, you know, you should be on the radio. And he said, I have this idea for the show. And oh, he pitched it. Hey. And um, Jim yeah. Boston went for it. And well, you know, Jim, we Jim and I later. had an opportunity to have lunch this last week. And I hope that we can build some kind of a relationship with our new TV station, KMBY and KNRY. Yeah. That would be um, fabulous. I've got this, this crazy idea uh -huh. that, um, and I told uh, Jim, and he wasn't sure uh, how it would work, but I said, Jim, let us put a camera in mm -hmm. your master control room in the mornings when ah. you're doing your live uh, radio, radio show. show and put you on TV. Yeah. And he kind of looked at me and he thought, well, how, how would we do that? And I said, well, you know, it's easy. Yeah. Today it, it really is in, mm -hmm. in this age of television um, to be able to put uh, a video through, through the Internet. Sure. We can actually use like the Skype method right. uh, of video. And we could put the morning show on. So maybe if Jim buys off on that, we could even have you guys on yep. with your show on. And they call them simulcasts. Simulcasts. That's that so would we be could fabulous. do a simulcast. And then we yeah. got to get Mr. Hamada back on the radio. <laughs> and, we, and we'll have to uh, tell we'll Frankie do... he can't wear sweatpants then. Oh, that's right. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you, know you know what? the cool thing about radio is you can just like you wear can, sweats yeah, or whatever. Well, but you, you sound know, like you're dressed up, yeah, but you're not. Yeah. It, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But uh, you know what? I think that the natural... Uh, effect of just doing radio. I mean, when when mm -hmm. Gary uh, and uh, Doug did uh, for locals only mm -hmm. on Wednesdays over at KRML, yeah. we took a camera into the oh, radio yeah. station. Yeah. In fact, oh, we yeah. showed that last week on the Coastal. I got a TV lot of network. response on that, and people just enjoy just seeing the back. Yeah, the see background. what goes on behind yeah. the scenes. You know, what, you know sure. what? Someone asked me. They said. We wanted to see if you talked to the people the same off the air as you did the on the internet. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's Good thing I was doing that. that that's, that's what <laughs> you do. Yeah. Gary, Gary does that's that. Funny. So, Any news uh, on the radio side yet? Anything? Yeah, a lot, lot's going on. Well, uh, can you talk about it well, yet? Well, yeah, uh, to some extent. Uh, I want to say hi to Frances Martin if she's watching. Uh, hi, Frances. She's doing some sales work yeah. for KRML right now. Great. Uh, and uh, I believe uh, things are moving along. Maybe uh, the uh, new ownership uh, a couple months from now. Oh, great, oh, wow. great. Well, you know, there's a new owner at KRML. Yeah, I've heard, I've and, heard that. Uh, it wasn't you. You were, no, you're, well, you, you I, I took a stab at it. But <laughs> took a stab at it. I, okay. I missed uh, the boat had sailed, as oh, they say. There and, you uh, have it. Yeah. But that's okay. We've got our hands full with television. <laughs> How yeah. much work can you do, though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we, we you <laughs> and, know, we, and you Facebook. Not just one. Yeah, well, Juliana does now, the do Facebook. Do you Twitter? No, I'm not into that. Stuff. Okay, no, I'm I let still Juli trying to figure out I Twitter. I let Juliana handle <laughs> Facebook and Twitter okay. and the emails and all of that. She's great at that. Oh, there you have so, it. So uh, I let her handle uh, that department, mm -hmm. and I just try and figure out what we're going to do with the TV stations because these channels, <laughs> you know, right. they, they multiply now in the digital age. And sure. So we've got four more channels to fill up here coming uh, in at the end of April oh, my with goodness. our new channel. Right. So. We'll be talking more about that here on Monterey. On That's tonight. exciting. Anyway, let, yeah. let me get back to uh, at least a, a couple of videos, and then we'll have uh, we'll have okay. Frankie on here. Uh, All right, Dave. I think um, I see. Let's see. Where did we leave off? The picks. The picks. The picks. Uh, the the, the fix. fix. Saved by zero, and then uh, we'll follow that up with uh, uh, Run Run Away by um, Slade. How's that? Oh, cool. Let's go back Very to the cool. music, and we'll be back with Frankie. And that's Alberto, Alberto's Ristorati. Yeah. He's our sponsor for this hour, uh, the hour of 10 to 11. 
We're a little late, Alberto, and we kind of cut you off there at the beginning. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to play you one more time before we go back to the music so everybody can hear him say, Hello, I'm Alberto. <laughs> you know, I was watching... Yeah, and a salute. I, I, I was watching um, uh, the Regis and Kelly show, mm -hmm. and Bruno, who's on Dancing with the Stars, was the co-host with, with Kelly. And I'm going to start trying to imitate Bruno. 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 Bruno yeah. I like the way he's yeah. talking all the time. <laughs> That's good. It's a good time. Am, am I doing a pretty yeah. good accent? Yeah. Bruno. Yeah. Anyway, welcome, uh, Mr. Knight, Frankie Knight. Good evening. How are you? I love that voice. Hey, get that, get that microphone voice. nice and okay. close, close there. Yeah. Okay. Frankie is on the radio with Tara at uh, KNRY. Mm -hmm. Uh, 1240 on Friday night, 705 to uh, 9 o'clock. And um, tell us what you guys do there uh, on the radio every well, Friday Well, we night. have fun. Yes, um, we do. Like we do. We exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For uh, yeah. two hours on a, on a Friday night, we try to um, provide a certain kind of uh, vibe, a soulful vibe. Uh, you know, 60s and 70s. 60s and 70s soul yeah. music. Now, not just any soul music, you know. It's, uh, soul music that, you know, you usually wouldn't hear on the top billboard because mm -hmm. uh, these are like maybe regional hits, say, you know, you grew up in New York City or Philadelphia or Chicago, mm -hmm. and there are a wealth of, of great music that just, just went unheard. That you don't hear it anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And this is from your own personal library, I would think, right? Exactly. Well, yeah. it's, it's building. Uh, I started this, uh, Tara and I, we started this about a year ago. Right. And so, uh, over the last few, well, several months, uh, we, yeah. we've collected quite a few um, gems. And yeah, so that's the fun gems, part of yeah. um, doing this, is, is finding music that even I haven't heard before. And Rasputin's is a big help um, in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. Is that where you guys get your, yeah, uh, your a lot music? Of times. A lot yeah, of it, yeah. 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 It's next to one of our favorite pizza, sh right. pizza shops, uh, Blondie's up there. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, and you treat your guests very well, speaking of pizza. I oh, wanted to say, well, we, had, we got the VIP green room treatment. Hey, so listen, we've we got the that. green room right here in the studio, and, uh, you know, pizza, and a little red wine, and, you know, sodas and whatever. But thank you guys for being here tonight. Yeah. I want to thank Gary Hamada for uh, bringing you guys on. Uh, yes, Gary's to, uh, great. The show. You've known Gary for a long, long time. For years, you know, through when I was working with Animal Friends Rescue Project, which Frankie and I still volunteer, and um, and we just did a transport on Thursday. Um, Frankie did the driving. To San Francisco, SPCA. We, yeah, we rescued uh, six dogs. Good for you guys. So, yeah, That's it's wonderful. fun. We, we like doing that. It's fun road trips. Yeah. And you're going to be on KSBW tomorrow morning at what time? Uh, between 6, 7.30 and 7.45 with the ARP, ARP Pet of the Week. And uh, now, is that going to be a dog or cat tomorrow? Um, well, it's, it's going to be a cat. Uh, logistically, yeah. it's, 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 it's problematic to have a dog because we have to, you know, yeah. foster for a period of days. For the weekend, days. yeah. So, oh. so we although we did that. it last week and the week before that, so this week and then, yeah, we and had then a lot of things going on. And Frankie has gets overly attached to the dogs, so we always have to take that into consideration. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how many do you guys them. have now? How many animals do you have? About 74. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, have, um, we have seven animals. Do you have seven animals? Well, I, I hope the mayor of PG isn't listing Pacific yeah. Grove. I guess well, yeah. we're over the yeah. animal yeah. limit. But. Four dogs and... No, three dogs. Three dogs and four cats. Four cats yeah. well, Jules, Jules and, a, and a kid, yeah. Jules, Jules and I have two Yorkies, two and Yorkies, she's yeah. been saying, I want another Yorkie, and I, oh my goodness. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the food bill is uh, yeah. amazing at times. Yes, it is. Gonna have to own a pet store. Exactly. Well. And, we're, and we had to rest before your show because we were in that media basketball tournament. Oh, and that's right. You, I heard you guys are playing basketball. Yeah, tonight. and you can't yeah. tell right now, but for the viewers, but but Frankie Knight is actually six foot seven. So. Yes, he is. Well, <laughs> we, we weren't sure that the chair was going to go down low enough right. so, that, so that actually six foot seven, when mm -hmm. he stands up, yeah. I'm like, you know, come up to his chest. Well, right now I'm sitting on the floor, so <laughs> <laughs> I can't <do> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun playing. It was uh, sponsored by the Monterey Weekly, and they, every year at Pacific um, Grove, uh, good old days, they sponsor the basketball tournament. So we had we had a very small team. It was mostly Frankie Knight, and then <laughs> a few mostly of us. Frankie Knight. Yeah, and then three what, of us but what, <laughs> helping. But it was fun. It was fun. What did you guys think of the April Fool's Weekly that was, I was something. Fooled. I, I was fooled, fooled for, for and, but then we were reading some of the, the articles and we knew, okay, this is over the top. Yeah. 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 So Eric Cushman had a good time. I thought I thought that was a very interesting way. In fact, yeah. I, I said last week on the show, I said maybe we should do that with our TV stations, just turn them all off and say, 
you know, we're, we don't want to do this anymore. And right. Then April Fool's. April Fool's. <laughs> but, well, you have to be in a basketball tournament next year. So okay. You have to All right. get a team and, and participate. That'll be Sounds fun. great. Well, listen, uh, yeah. thank you guys for being here tonight. Uh, remember, the radio show is on KNRY, yeah. Frankie and Tara, every Friday night, 7.05 to 9 o'clock. And um, the great soul music uh, right there on the radio. You catch us up on, we have a website, FrankieKnightProductions.com. Frankie Knight right. Productions. Right. They can go to the website. Yeah, and can. the call station is, uh, well, not the call station, but it's uh, AM 1240 KNOI. So that's right. AM. Well, historic. Historic. Yeah. Historic AM 1240. Yeah. Jim Vossen has the morning show. He's the one that brought us on. He was yes. very nice and mentoring and helped us out. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Jim and I got together last week, and I'm going to just keep trying to get him yeah. to to go with putting uh, that morning show on television. Oh, yeah. yeah so think, and then I maybe think, think maybe then happen. after that we'll put your show on television. That would be well, fabulous. That's a thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'd love to be on there. So, you, But you won't be able to wear the sweats. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, no sweats. Yeah, thank you, Tara, for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always here to help. All right, we're going to go back to the music here, and I'm going to let you introduce, Tara, I'm going to let you introduce the next video because you said it, let's see, it's right here. Uh, Depeche Mode. And people are people. There we go, right, right here on Monterey on tonight. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, salute, Alberto. Uh, we had to put Alberto back on because we cut him off at the uh, the last time we when tried that. When he opened that. the door. When he opened the door, there was a no sound, uh, so we had to put him back <laughs> on the air. Hey, I like that. <laughs> doing all these, uh, I'm doing uh, my what impression. What is it? Is it that one? Bru no, it's Bruno on. <laughs> oh, on you've been watching yeah, that. Yeah. Bruno with with. That's with right. Kelly. You got a kick out of that. I like the way he uh, does this. I think all you like the, the way Kelly tries to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you could try. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm on another day. Another anyway, day. Anyway, you know, <laughs> speaking, Gary. Speaking of Alberto. There's 70 chefs uh, on the Monterey Peninsula this weekend over at the Pebble Beach yeah. uh, Wine and Food Food and Wine Show, and Alberto's food is as I I put him. Well, they're up. probably dining over his place. The, the, the Iron uh, Chefs are probably over his place. I, you they know what? You're time. probably right. Yeah. They were last time. I would put Alberto up with any of oh, those yeah. 70 guys. He could live there. anywhere. He yeah. just chooses. To, he, he chooses, chooses to, to live, live here. And sometimes and have that. we. Sometimes it's easy, I think, to take for granted. Yeah what you have here what we have here yeah i mean he was chef to the stars the movie he, he stars. was he was chef to the stars down in uh, malibu he had them all in there i mean everyone dean martin sinatra barbara streisand, barbara streisand george, george hamilton, hamilton yeah, don rickles Bill they, Bixby. they were all there they were all, all there them. they were all there and uh but it's because he really he's not only very hospitable and kind but he's cut great Food. He's great food. And, you know, the, the other interesting thing is if you look who's a cooking in the kitchen, it's Alberto. Alberto. That's why it's so good. That's why it's so He doesn't let someone else cook your dinner. <laughs> he does it himself. So You figure the Iron Chefs are dining there. They, they probably Kat are Kora this was. weekend. Was, was it? Yeah, Kat Cora was there. Kat Cora. Yeah. She yeah. was, uh, when you called over for the radio show, he, uh, Raymond Napolitano was there. And then she <laughs> says, hey, by the way, Kat Cora is here having dinner. Yes. <laughs> So anyway, thank you, Alberto, for being our sponsor. We are honored that you would choose our little show here on Saturday nights to sponsor and tell everyone on the Monterey Peninsula about your fabulous Italian restaurant. Talking about all the chefs on the peninsula right now. We yes. got to see a few of them on Thursday We night. did. We were over at uh, the Food and Wine Show, uh, the reception. Opening night. Uh, reception, opening night. Opening night yeah. reception at Spanish Bay. It and you know a, what Gary did? It was a madhouse. Gary, what, did I, what did I do? Gary knows exactly oh. what <laughs> to do at these type of events. He goes straight for the Dom Perignon, <laughs> and he says, this is all I'm drinking tonight, and I got to try all the things, but you know what? He knew because he, the next day, he felt fine. There was no... I, I said, where is the Dom Perignon? They said, it's in the, the lounge there. That's and what he did. I just... Hung around. I think you got he got his Dom he got his the ticket got, worth whatever in I paid for the ticket I drank in Dom Perignon. Oh gee, that night. Yeah, and you felt fine the next what? day oh, because that's the great. quality of the. You champagne. guys all dressed up, tux and. All oh that. No, no no, we didn't do tux, but we uh, you know there we, were people. David were, Bernal all dressed up. Oh David. Uh, because he owns a shop, so in the yeah, store. Yeah. Shop he always looks store. great. Yeah. His wife he looked, was there. He looked great. His wife was there. She looked and, great. Uh, I, I know that, uh, you know, you can't say how successful that yeah. event is uh, and how many people it has brought into the Monterey And you know Peninsula. who, Dorothy, 
uh, does a really great job. Yes, she does. With the uh, the behind the scenes. Behind the, we're going to have to have her on as a guest. The Monterey and talk Herald about had an article in yesterday's paper about all of the. She she does the list, so the chefs give her all of these crazy. In, yeah. I don't want to say crazy ingredients, but they're so. You know, you just don't go down to your market and pick yeah. them up. I mean, they're special ordered, every single one yeah, of them. Everything is special. And we got to meet Bill Peraki, the CEO, the CEO. of Pebble, Pebble Beach, Beach Company. There. They're and getting we're... ready for the U.S. Open. Yes, and we're trying to get him on the show. I don't Wait, know if he's oh, shy. He's kind of shy, I think huh? he's camera shy. Have you met him, Gary? Um, he sort of stays back a yeah. little he's bit. Nice, yeah, he's nice, though. Yeah, yeah. But he seemed a little shy. He so seemed gotta... to, we said, why don't you come on and be a guest on our show? But he seemed kind of shy. He was at an event that uh, we did at Spanish Bay Ballroom. And uh, they opened the uh, the Concord de Elegans a couple of years ago, and uh, you wouldn't know when he was the CEO. Yeah, uh, I had to be introduced to him by the uh, general manager at Spanish Bay. Uh, so anyway, yeah. if you you hear about uh, us talking about you tonight, uh, Bill, uh, we want to want you to be a guest. You can talk about the U.S. Open as much as you want. Well, he has an interesting story too. He you does know, everything about you know how, how he got to the peninsula and just his just a yeah. really nice yeah. interesting story. Everyone's got a story. Everybody's got a great story. In fact, uh, our guest, our first guest tonight, did you get a chance yeah, to meet yeah. uh, Dick? Yeah, the, the book. The Dick, book. Yeah, Dick the, the, uh, he'll be at Borders tomorrow. Borders tomorrow from uh, 1, one to o'clock three. to 3, and then he's going to have a, an event with... Uh, uh, he, at the gallery in uh, Carmel in at Carmel. the end of the month. What's I guess. the book's name? A Stroke of Life. Uh, like let's see. What did you do with That's the right book? That's right here. Where is I thought the it was book? Stroke right of Life. It's right here on the river. Yeah. Right here. I just remember that. Up on the uh, screen. Oh, it's on oh, the screen. There it, there it is. Live or die, a stroke of good, good luck. luck. The stroke of good, good luck. Good job, Dave. Yeah, there it Thank is. Thank you, Dave. That Dave had that at his fingertips and personally autographed right here to yes. Juliana. Yes, I like This you. is a huge weekend. One of these I mean. days when I write my book, I'm going to personally. <laughs> well, you well, sign you, Yeah, you better start going. Do you know going. what? He has a book <laughs> written, and I we're just, we just proofing it. Yeah, we, we, we haven't got it out yet, though. We've got to take all those old girlfriend stories out of it. We better photos start. in there, <laughs> illustrations, and photos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> photos from my I saw that photo of you when, in your young, yeah, on, yeah. That t uh, on that television program. Yeah, did you see how big the camera Jeez. was? Well, I saw how uh, thin and you know, oh, uh, uh, thin and, man, and a little all that skinny hair. and all that. I should go get black it again. Hair and a, and kind of looked a little bit like you're Bobby Darin. Go get it. And you're gonna make me go get it because the viewers were watching at the show. Can you guys talk about? No, no, no. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. But I saw the skinny tie in that photo. And I said, you know what? They're they're wearing those I got a couple now. of those around. My, <laughs> they my go in Kevin's. Do you still have Dave's some at home? Yeah. Well, I don't know whether I have any of those left. That's that was a long time ago. <laughs> but you know what? They came back. Yeah. They, 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 did. they really did in the eighties. Uh, they did. Get and, anything? And, and the pig pants. And too, they did. Yeah. Yeah. Anything yeah. special you want to? It's uh, a big weekend here this weekend. Of course, we you know we know about the uh, the, the, the Pebble Beach Food and Wine. We have the. Uh, uh, the Next Generation Jazz Festival going on this weekend with uh, a number of people that are going to be on next year. And also uh, Diane Reeves, who is the, uh, uh, the artist in residence uh, performing uh, with some of the top artists. And then we also had uh, going on this week is the um, Good Old Days tomorrow at, Pebble, uh, at uh, Pacific, Pacific Grove. Grove. So a lot going on. But next week, uh, I got a couple of good tips there for everybody out there. Um, uh, Peter Pomondon, Pomondon is, the, uh, is an artist, um, and uh, he's very talented. He's at the Carmel Art Association. He has a show that's what? debuting tonight, uh, April 8th. Uh, it'll go through April 8th through May 4th, uh, Peter Pomondon. And, uh, and uh, you want to see it, it's called New Still Lives. And go to carmelart.org for more it? information. Some yeah, what very is it like? What's it well, like? Well, according to what, uh, a little bit about his bio uh, bi biography is that he um, was inspired by an artist uh, in the 1960s uh, in the um, in Big Sur, um, and uh, he's actually um, uh, from uh, Massachusetts. So he he does he hasn't um, uh, I guess he joined the Art Association in 2005 here, and this is his first art his first show. Here, oh, so uh, it's at right. the Carmel Art Association. Peter Pomondon, and you're going to hear more about him. Uh, and a uh, couple of good musical notes and for you out there, if you want to go to some free events that are, um, with everybody and their dog is going to be there probably. So and their dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim Edmondson at the uh, Woody's uh, on Thursday nights, uh, and Kim Edmondson's credits are uh, um, major movies, um, Dances with Wolves. Uh, uh, in Line of Fire, most of Clint Eastwood movies. Uh, also, his drummer also grew up on the stages of The Tonight Show uh, mm -hmm. uh, with um, 
Uh, and, uh, and Gary Meek, a saxophonist and uh, pianist, will be there. He's uh, performed with, he just toured uh, with Dionne Warwick and Al Jarreau. Uh, and it's Eddie Mendenhall, from, uh, who's uh, just a huge uh, uh, jazz pianist. That's in Woody's on Thursday nights. That's Free, that's, trio. You know what? Isn't wow. it great, all of the things that happen right here in this town? Well, just like Juliana says, we take it for granted. Alberto's, the Iron Chef's dine there. You want to you want to have a chance of being dining next to an Iron Chef? Go to Alberto, or you want to see what the, what food they enjoy? Go to Alberto's. Amazing. And, I mean, here's and and the same thing with Kim Edmondson, who just came back from Los Angeles and from uh, Skywalker Ranch, who who does a lot of these, and you'll hear his music on CSI Miami or on uh, HG Television. Uh, what time does he play on uh, at Woody's? Uh, Thursday night, uh, it'll be uh, 8 o'clock on Thursday nights, but the trio itself. And Wally's another big event uh, this uh, Thursday, uh, if you like really dancing. Um, so Wally's Swing World uh, will be at um, uh, Mission Ranch. Uh, no, No charge. Where is that, in the barn? Uh, right at the barn, uh, free and no cover. And what day is that? Uh, this Thursday night, April 15th. Lots um, going on. And Wally Swing World is, goes back to the, the old, uh, you know, big swing bands. Their drummer is uh, one of the top drummers in the world. What time is that? Eight, uh, starts at 6.30. How 630. fun. No, tr no cover. No cover. And then last but not least, a little tip for everybody uh, if you're into the um, uh, seeing the uh, the largest and most celebrated cycles, uh, uh, cyclists and, and festival in North America. It's uh, the 20th Sea Otter Classic at Laguna Seca next uh, weekend, 15th to the 18th, starting Thursday. So. Okay, that's big. Thank you for all of that. I tell you, you do a good job keeping up with what's happening here on the peninsula. Part of my show before, you know, for locals only. Uh, that's what uh, you were doing before, yeah. Yeah. Well, tonight, you're on the Coastal Television oh. Network and KYMB Comcast Channel 19 at midnight or yes. thereabouts, right? Yes, and we've got to get. What show is it tonight? Did, did, uh, you know? Yeah, it's with. Couple of shows, one with Michael Adamson because I, I, I he's just got such charisma. I just you you, you two are do just so great together. I probably played it, but I like to play. Guys got ninety percent you know ratio of you <sighs> know of predicting what's going to happen in the economy. And then there's a classic. Uh, we call them what Dave Bernal calls them throwbacks to the. Concour on the Avenue. Concour on the Concours. Avenue and Carmel. Uh, oh, on the Avenue, yeah, yeah, you and Doug, yeah. yeah. So, and then, um, did you see last week we had you, I, I put on no, the, the one. the radio station, he was talking about it. Yeah, I put the yeah. one with he Doug, and Doug. And Doug and Catherine, and, and the camera was in there. We should, we got to do you that You know, again. I got such a huge response last week after that show. I mean, I couldn't believe it was, it, it airs after midnight. I didn't yeah. realize there were that many people on. Uh, Catherine Nagel, of course, was the executive director at the time. She got to be on the show, and Dave was filming it. Dave was filming it. And it, it was a real station. challenge to film that thing because yeah. people well, don't realize. Not, not, room, not a lot of room in that control room. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I never realized how much work I was doing <laughs> until I watched it last night for the first time. And they, and they <laughs> wanted to know if you talked to the people when the, when yeah. the microphones were off the same way you talk to them when the well, you, microphones you ever hear, are on. You know people like that. They're yeah. on the air, you know, they're one way, and then and then when they get off the air, they're a whole different person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people wanted to know uh, when we went off the air because that's the part that I forgot we were actually filming. You were at, the camera was the running. The camera was rolling the yeah. whole time, and yeah. then Dave tells me afterwards, oh, the camera's rolling the whole time, and I didn't... <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah. didn't know no, that I didn't at know the that. time? I had no idea. <laughs> that, made good, that made a good TV show, didn't it? Anyway, yeah. thank you, Gary. Thank you very much we for inviting me We look forward to seeing you again next yeah. week. See you next week. Thanks. Okay, let's get back to the music. Monterey on tonight. Don't forget, we're going to have our drawing about 15 minutes to midnight tonight for the $25 gift certificate. It's 11 o'clock. Can you yeah. believe it? Tonight and, blue. Uh, you know what? From wow. Alberto now to Jose's Underground. Thank you, uh, Alberto, uh, our one-hour sponsor yes. from now till midnight. And go to kymbtv.com. Be sure to uh, enter your name on the feedback form. And I did get everybody, I, I want everybody to know there was somebody that emailed us and actually sent it via email because they didn't know that if it was working on the feedback, but I did get, okay. I did get it. So they're totally entered. and Great. And so just, uh, we've got several things to give away. There's our website on the screen, there, KYMTV. Go to, go to the website right now. Let us know where you're watching from and how you an like email. it. And, and uh, we'll... Uh, We'll be here till midnight. Sounds good. So okay. here we go. Wang Chang. Dance Wang hall. Chung. There's uh, the boss. Yeah. Bruce Springsteen, 1984. And do you know who was dancing on the stage with Bruce Springsteen? I do not know who was dancing on the stage <laughs> with Bruce Springsteen. Courtney who Co was it? Courtney Cox. Before she was a star. Really? Yes. Yes. 
That was before Family Ties, before Misfits of Science, before Friends. Goodness. She ended up uh, on that stage with Bruce Springsteen. And you know who directed that music video? No, who? Brian De Palma. Oh, my goodness. Well, of that, the uh, Mission Impossible yeah. and Scarface, he actually directed that video. That, that had hit written all over I it. I know, didn't isn't it? that amazing? You go figure, huh? Go isn't figure. That amazing? So we have had a nice <coughs> evening, haven't we? We've had all kinds of exciting guests. You got that? What is it? Are you allergic I to? I don't you know, know. You must be allergic to the microphone or something. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. Do you want to get your cup? No, it was probably my. No, I have water. Do you? Okay. Uh, probably my snack between the, the videos. Do you see all the movie stars coming on this week? No, who's coming on this week? Well, we have Clark Gable. Oh. Monday. What he's what he's is the he king going to be and four in? queens. The king and four queens. Yes. What year does it say? The year that uh, that was. It sure does. Nineteen fifty six. It's a western. Wow. Jodie Foster, the little girl who lives down the lane with Martin Sheen. Nineteen seventy six. When is that? That is on Monday uh, evening, okay. and we just have all sorts of uh, Carl Reiner. Russians are coming, and the Russians are coming on Tuesday evening at nine p.m. Remember. Carl Reiner, and then after that, Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, you're not gonna. Oh, you're gonna. No, Dave's gonna take a shot of our this TV. Okay. Coffee cup, so that way everybody knows that uh, the. Um, well, let me just rattle. Movie network is this TV from MGM right here on KYMB, Channel 19, Comcast Cable. Yep. Comcast Cable. Did I say it right? Comcast you said it, Cable? You said it right. But I'm just amazed at all of the movie stars. Like this week, Bo Bridges, George Siegel, Howie Mandel, William Forsyth, Peter Sellers, David Niven. Um, I mean, just just amazing. William Defoe. And you know, we're working on getting on charter cable. So the folks over in and Hollister and Watsonville. And U-verse with AT&T. And AT&T U-verse. Yes, we're just brand new. This is just a little brand new TV station. And we have some uh, airtime available uh, in the morning and the afternoons. That if you'd for like to have your own, your own show. local show, yeah, we yeah. have some airtime available. We were available. talking to Frankie and Tara about that. Yeah, and then we also have uh, time between the movies. So that's one of the things about being on Channel 19 is you are between movie stars, not between infomercials. long, long form infomercials. <laughs> we still have a little bit coming down from the network, but they're like a minute or two. Oh, but, those uh, are only two minutes. But if you, sometimes spots. if you flip and you want to see something local and it's like in the middle of, you know, these really... Long form, they call them. Long you know, form And you know one of the things that I've really enjoyed is the Outer Limits. The outer limits yeah, overnight. I have yes. really enjoyed, and I know a lot of our viewers have enjoyed some of the uh, overnight programs. And Mr. As well. Ed. And Mr. Ed. Patty Duke. Yep. And the cartoons. And now tonight, after midnight, we switch to Coastal TV Network. It's a network that we feed into six markets uh, to promote tourism and education about uh, particularly the Monterey Peninsula because this is home, but it is about the California coast. And we have uh, the Pine Inn feature, John Lloyd, and Sarah Nicole. Sarah's interviewing him. And then we also have a, a, a throwback from Gary Hamada and uh, Doug Lumsden when they were on Concord on the Avenue down in Carmel. And we have uh, several uh, surprises, surprises along the way. Surprises tonight yeah. at midnight, so stay tuned. And then we have a, I, we do throw in some classic television a later down. If you want to stay up all night, we have a real good classic Godzilla movie. I had a, a, several requests for these Godzilla movies. So. Well, that's, uh, so if you're up really late. Ancient television, the black and white days. Incidentally, I want to take this um, moment to say hi to Mom and hi to Daverly out there in TV land. They're watching tonight. I just talked to mom and she's enjoying the show. Oh, wonderful. So, hi mom. Hi mom. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, take this opportunity folks to go to your um, computer and send us an email kymbtv.com. Actually go to the homepage and there's a form there just uh, send us your name and tell us how you like the show. You know, show. Joy was going to come in and say hi from the Mariposa Inn, but she's not feeling too well. Oh. So we wish her. Yes. We're thinking about you and we'll hope to see you next weekend. Right. And and, uh, uh, and enter the contest. There's it on the screen. Enter the contest and we will um, put your name in the fishbowl and we will And we have some prize prizes tonight. We two. do, too. We and we'll uh, mail them and or we'll drop or them Or they by. can pick them up. Pick them up. The we station. do have two we're delivering on Monday because we also, they are interested in being sponsors. Oh, so wonderful. So we haven't forgot about you. That's great. Yeah.
Yeah, right. So, we haven't. We're going to be out in the rain. Is it supposed to rain tonight or tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow. I, well, actually, tonight. We'll have to go do the forecast before Late we tonight go off it comes in. Because we do that every week now. We, we do. talk about Actually, the I printed it, honey. You did? Yes, I did. Oh, all I right. did all where, my homework. Where is the, where's the weather for well, tomorrow? Well, it's just buried in here. So, anyway. Well, I have when it. we come back, we'll talk about But the it is, and, and Monday. I mean, the way that the weather is describing it's going to slam, slam into, into the, the coast. coast. Yeah. So, it's got to be a pretty fierce. We were actually supposed to be on the road after our show tonight, but, you know, going over that hill with the wind it's not so much if you can navigate it but you don't know what the wind's going to be carrying through the air and, you That's know true. put in your way while you're going 70 miles 65 right 65 is the speed limit that's what you go captain bill pearlstein, pearlstein from the highway patrol is watching and yes he'll make sure that we are driving 65, 65 miles. <laughs> i can't drive 55 <laughs> that was a song we played wasn't it <laughs> So what do we have next on the music, babe? Uh, the next on the music, well, we had Bruce Springsteen. Now we're going to do Culture Club and Do You Really and then we'll come Want back. to Hurt Me. We'll come back. And then we'll come back. Okay. See Monterey you in a few minutes. Tonight. Got it. It's uh, about 11.25 Almost on a Saturday night. Almost time for our drawing. Almost time, time for, for the drawing. drawing. You still have another 35 minutes or so, 30 minutes to get into our drawing for the night. So... Uh, shoot us uh, an email. Go to our website. There's a little spot right on the KYMB TV so website. So you say shoot an email that confuse the viewers. Actually, you just go, go to, to the our website. website. Don't do an email. Just go to our well, website. Well, and the ones who did do an email, I got them. So no worries. But it's just go to the website. And it's, there's a box, and you just say, here I am, and we'll put you in. How do they do that if they aren't using email? No, no. The, the website is smart. And when they hit the send button on the feedback form, I got to tell it where to send it. So then it comes into oh. my email. So they don't actually have to know our email address. They don't have to know an email right, address. Right, but there's, there was somebody very clever oh. that made sure we got it, and I did get it via email. So it's oh. okay. So how did they figure out the email address? Probably through the website. Probably somewhere on the bottom. I have oh. the website, so it's okay. But the so feedback they read form the code. works. They went into the website and read <laughs> no, the code. No, they just hit send. Submit. Oh, oh submit. Yeah, they oh. typed in the box and hit submit. Anyway, well, anyway there's the uh, All website kinds of address going on, on the here. screen there, KYMB. Incidentally, uh, did you know that KYMB actually is for your Monterey Bay? Yep. That's I knew it because I picked it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jules is the one that picked the call letters. Because KJUL was already taken K -Jewel was by a radio station <laughs> in Fresno. <laughs> Anyway, so you're besides Monterey if Bay. we ever have someone that wants to buy the station, it wouldn't really be good to have, have a your name on it. That's right. <laughs> okay, so you know what's going on this week? Let's 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 tell the, the tell the world what's happening. Okay, what's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow, Borders one to three. Dick, Dick Burns. Burns, his book is just amazing. Um, one of the things I didn't really go through in the when we were interviewing him the first yes. hour. Yes is that when he had his big meeting where mm -hmm. they came up with the Fruit of the Loom concept, mm -hmm. it was the same room that Al Pacino was in in Scent of a Woman oh. when he was dining. It was like, I mean, that's a really... Great you know, New he York really, restaurant. Yeah. He, and, you know, he actually gave me a, a copy of a tape, a cassette tape, of um, a seminar because he used to speak and train mm. TV uh, executives. executives. And wow, I'm learning. It was well, from we, 1988, we, but we it was just amazing. We need to spend more time with Dick. Yeah, he's got some stories, and he's Great. had some fun. Louis Armstrong, he's got a story, oh, yeah. and Phil Stiller. We're gonna Stiller. have him back on. So, and, stop but anyway. by Borders tomorrow, one o'clock, right there in uh, Cisa, or really, Sand City. 38 years old, he had a uh, massive stroke. Massive stroke, and he completely fought his way through it and was. Overcame it anyway. So and that's. And we want to thank the Amorosco agent, Ar Armanosco. David. Yes, and Shelly over at over uh, David Armanosco. 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 And which actually we should probably have him on. Yes. Boy, would we he should. have some stories? Yes. He absolutely. Has, we have want to thank them for getting uh, Dick for our show. Yeah. Suggesting him for the show. So the uh, good old days tomorrow in Pacific Grove, and if you find it's raining, still go and support them because you can always go to the Lighthouse Cinema. We had Ben Castillo. Yeah, they have the 6 o'clock uh, showing of uh, Wizard, Wizard of, of Oz. Oz. And then on Mondays, they have free popcorn. Uh, they've, we've got to spend some time over yeah, there. Yeah, we're going to spend some time over there at the uh, And dollar, Lighthouse what Cinema. day is it that they have dollar hot dogs? Help Do us. Do dollar hot dogs, what day? Is it tomorrow because no, of good old days? It's this weekend. It's, it's this, this weekend. weekend. Dollar hot dogs, dollar popcorn, dollar sodas. Yeah, great. So, Anyway, and then we have the horse show April 14th through 17th free. 
They have world-class And you heard what champion. Gary Hamada said about all the things that are happening. On Thursday night over at Woody's, they've got uh, some jazz. very jazz, very, very talented jazz. And Musicians. Then, then also there's the swing band at the Mission Ranch, and that was at 6.30, 6.30 on Thursday. Yep. That's some good music in this town. Boy, I'll tell you, you folks uh, we got to quit working so hard, you know? I know. I'm always it, working through all of these... Well, when anyway. we lived in Fresno, Fresno didn't have anything like this, and Fresno's no. and we're supposed know, to go almost back. a million people. We're supposed to go back after the show tonight, but yeah, the rain's well, going to hold up, gonna, huh? I think the rain's going to keep us here. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, we also have the home show at the fairgrounds free, April 17th and 18th. Right. So that would be uh, exciting. And then throughout the week, there's some things that come up, that Gary and I in life, and we're in the middle of it, we're like, we should mention this on the show. Do you remember what happened this week? Help that was just me. <laughs> Help me. We were driving through the tunnel at 5.30 oh. p.m. at, where good is that, by you. the wharf. Good for you for remembering and what, that. Yeah. And we're in the middle of the tunnel, and all these horns start going off. One person started honking and their every, horn. Dave and Johnson the, hates it, but I'm cracking up because I'm looking in the cars, and there's no kids in the car. It's all, it's, is it tourists or is it adult? Uh, it's all adult. Uh, you know what, Gary? We honked. So we're not tourists. So I think... Well, you just have to do that. So just if you're laugh, ever kind of a feeling laugh. a little glum... Of course, he's on his bike. So when he's on his motorcycle, yeah. it's not, it's <laughs> not right. too much fun to hear all those horns But anyway, honking. it was... I mean, what a way to maybe not cheer Dave Johnson up. But I thought, you know, if you're kind of feeling glum, go have a horn party at 5.30 at night. Just yeah. drive through the tunnel. If you're looking for something to do and you want to have fun, drive through the tunnel at 5.30 at Speaking night and honk if, your horn. If you want to know how many tourists in town. Yes. Well, we talked. We're not tourists. <laughs> we're well, kids. We're, you know what? It, we're kids at we're heart. Kids at heart. We just fell into the trap. We fell into, okay, so there's another thing going on that we're going to do. What else? We want. She's watching right now. Who? Diana from Latitude. Oh, hi, Diana she from Latitude. She's just a dynamite server serving yes. dynamite food from she, Teeny Shake. She told us last night we were in Latitude. But she watches us when she gets home she, at 10 She gets off work and she watches the show. So we so want to say hello. Maybe we have to dedicate a video and to And you know her. what else what else going to say? Wait, wait, before up. you do, she came up with that idea. She did? She had a wonderful suggestion. We're going to start something next week. Okay. We're going to take a photo of a mural or a location somewhere on the Monterey Peninsula. And the viewers, it's a contest, the viewers will have to find. So we're going to show or it on look. the air? Yeah, we're going to show it and, and then, then see where, where, it where it's at. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good contest. idea. And kind of get to know and the give community. give something else away. Yeah, and we're always looking for an excuse to give things We've away. We've got huh? two things to give away tonight. The $25 gift certificate to First Impressions Party, Party Supplies over on East Franklin. Going to do that. And then we also have two tickets to the Lighthouse Cinema to go see a movie. So go to kymbtv.com. Yeah, enter our little contest. No contest. purchase is necessary. And you know what's interesting about sending emails? It doesn't even cost 44 cents it's like a letter. It's not even email, honey. They just have to submit on the feedback form. Well, but if I send an email, <laughs> if I send an email... To it's someone, true. it doesn't do. cost me forty cents. Well, you know, our cents. launch party, I didn't send out official invitations. I did it all email. So how much did we save? <laughs> a lot. A lot of money. And I use Facebook. Is that why the post office keeps raising the postage? Yeah. yeah. But I still think when you're writing something for Grandma, you should send a card with a picture. Yeah. Yeah. There's always something about moms and grandmas. If I was Hallmark, though, I'd be, I'd be worried. Worried. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm afraid uh, times are a changing. Well, you know what they've done. No. I, I'm, I'm sure it's their Walmart? idea. Well, there's this new service where you sign up online, and you fill out the card, and you upload the picture. And these companies now are printing the picture and creating a real card and putting a stamp on it and mailing it for oh, you. Oh, really? Did you know that? Oh, that's kind of cool. So I think Hallmark's kind of maybe they came up with that. Yeah. To yeah. Save. Yeah. <laughs> save the day. <laughs> I wonder how Kodak is doing. You know, they used to make film. Do you have a Polaroid camera somewhere? I do have an old Polaroid camera. One day, somewhere. you know what we should do? I don't do? think you can buy Polaroid there, film there anymore. There is a new Polaroid camera that just came out. There is? Mm -hmm. Dave says there's a new we camera. We need to have a techie time in our show. And we should show classic. Well, some of these music videos, we actually haven't mentioned them, but you'll see a phone booth. Yeah. You'll see a television that's like An old TV. Deep, like not this a flat deep. screen TV. No, there's like. A <laughs> yeah, not even too many people using cell phones in the videos. I don't think I've seen Or you seen know what else? In one of the Madonna songs, um, in the in the trailer, the microwave was like this gigantic. Oh, huge microwave. Thing. Yeah. So. Well, times are a change. 
Anyway, let's get back to the music. Uh, these are classic uh, music videos from Cool TV. We're working with Cool so we can have a channel 24 hours a day with these videos and even up-to-date music videos here at KYMB, so stay tuned. And uh, the next video that we have, Do you want me going to tell back, you about it? yeah, go ahead. It is "Everybody Wants to Rule the World" by Tears for Fears. Good video. June of 1985. It was there on number one, hit on the number one Everybody. for two weeks. And um, it's a. Uh, let me see. Oh, due to its heavy amount of airplay on MTV, it uh, helped get them break broke into America, and it features Kurt Smith, who's the lead singer, driving an antique Austin Healey 3000 sports car around various Southern California And you locations. know what? Let's also go to, uh, as soon as that one finishes, let's play Toto. Oh, you like Toto, don't you? I like you? Toto. Let's do the you Toto, Toto. Rosanna. Okay, sounds good. So we'll do two. Here they are, Monterey on tonight. Thanks uh, for watching. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, great video by Madonna Material Girl. And we are KYMB TV, Comcast Channel 19, here every Saturday night from 8 p.m. till midnight, and tonight flew. It did. It's almost time for us to say bye-bye. We want to thank everyone who entered the contest, who emailed us, who submitted through our website, and we want to thank you for the comments. We had a viewer uh, that Lynn and Dale that sent us a note. Did you know that the Medflies are having a reunion April 16th at Planet Gemini in Monterey and the 17th at Don Quixote's in Felton? Remember, don't mess with the mayor. Okay. So they thank you so much for the, the tip. James Kruger, love your show very much. Been glued to the tube. And he likes Shania's version. We opened with Shania Yay. Twain. And uh, he said Marlene, his wife, likes Robert Palmer. Oh, so we, well, then there's a tie. Uh, a tie. And then Michael, he said, no need to enter me into the drawing. Well, too bad. We did Michael's anyway. in there anyway. We Come did. on in, but here, Catherine. Listen, he said, here's a viewer challenge before you do it. I challenge all Santa Cruz County viewers to enter the drawing at kymbtv.com or call. 899-2727. <laughs> so we will Come definitely... Come on in and let's see who. We need two tonight, Catherine. Two. Okay. We, the, so let's wait, see. Wait, wait, what are we drawing let's for Let's see, first? Catherine. Uh, we're party drawing supply? for the party supply. party supply. Go ahead and take Catherine's shot here, digging in, Dave. He had okay. His, okay. There we are. And this is a $25 gift certificate. This is the $25 gift certificate to... First Impressions Party Supplies. Julie Foss. Salinas just stumbled onto your station. Oh, and wonderful. And she entered our drawing. That's great. And great. these, uh, the next one, two Congratulations. tickets. Congratulations. Where's my pin? Two tickets to uh, the Lighthouse Cinema. There you go. And, and thank Gloria you so George much. won two tickets. And Gloria. My goodness. Oh, cool. Gloria is winning. She was and she was at our party. She our was at our KYA party, party. And, she, and she's a, a viewer uh, that watches every week. Right. Anyway, we have to say goodnight, everyone. Here uh, is now. You know, there's always one video. Gary picks the first one, and it just so happens there's always one that's my favorite. Here we go, and my favorite is the Look of Love ABC 1982. And we're gonna go out with that tonight. Good night, Jules. Have fun. Thanks a lot. Good night, Gary. Good, Good night, night, everyone. everyone.